Hey, welcome, welcome back. back. Welcome back to uh, Larvis Vintage Toys. Lots of people in the chat already. That's good. That's always good. Scuba Pete is, is driving and listening. That's good. And Rose asks this uh, honky horn if you want a bed. Have a good time, everyone. About to rock out of church this morning. <laughs> All right, Andy. Uh, catch you a bit later. Yeah. Well, um, I'll hold I'll back on the good stuff if you want. <laughs> and hey Dev how's it going oh, I'm Debbie ah, hello Debbie thank you for joining me right then I've got um, I'm not going down on one night so. um, I bought my chair that's all Right, I've got a good setup today. Better than the last time. There's no ironing board today. Salacious. And uh, Gary. Yeah, Gary, um, it's not a phone I need this time. It's it's a new mouse. My mouse is broken. So um, today it's actually about buying a mouse. <laughs> Getting a new mouse. And I'm not paying £100 for one, so. Hey, Pete. Hi, uh, Jumpy. Says he's here. Filming some Transformers. Good luck with that one. <laughs> um, you might be, you might be interested in one of them. Um, I don't know where to where to go first. I've got a list. I've got twenty three lots. So let me know what you're interested in, and we'll go with it. He wanted to be done the any board. Yeah, sorry about that. I've got all high tech. You're a pro. We know that, Tess. I can tell you that. Right then. Here we go. Are you ready for this? There we go. There's his lock cam. Now, Bob Fett is not for sale. I know you're going to be disappointed. Hey, Luke. Good to see you, mate. That's just for display purposes. As to what the lots of most of the lots are going to go up there, some of them won't fit, obviously. But uh, yeah, uh, and if you're uh, if you're really lucky, I can go full screen. And Yoda's not for sale either, by the way. He's just offering candy. So, um, without further ado, are we all ready? Are we all ready? Do we want to go to the first lot? We want to go to the first lot. Right then, let's move Boba. I mean, you can put, you can ask me about Boba, but uh, no, for certain reasons that he's not for sale. Right then, what should we go for first? Since Tez is here about his Transformers, do we want to go for Transformers? Uh, Masterpiece Barricade. I will put him. I've just done a review and I just uh, obviously transformed him and transformed him back. So I'll put him on the turntable. He can be lot number one today. <laughs> right then. There you go. Uh, it's got the instructions. Got the instructions, so complicated instructions. And he's got his, his weapon, the stand, and everything like that. Complete, totally complete. Boxed, nice box. Lovely box. And it is Takara. It's actually Takara. Focus, focus, focus. There you go. So the starting bid on that is £25. If anybody wants to bid on that, £25. That's lot number one. I'll put the, the box behind it. 
Flight Sail of the Century, isn't it? Flight Sail of the Century. Ed. Darren. Josh. Ha, ha, ha. Split screen, yep. You're a pro. I'm a pro. Uh, if you're 20. No, 25 Stein bid, mate. 25 Stein bid. I know you want my test, don't you? Look at that. Look at it. It's beautiful. And it's not complicated to transform. <laughs> okay. It, it's complicated to transform. Star Wars theme. Yes, some Star Wars coming up. Don't worry. This is just like the starting lot because I know there might be some people coming a bit later. Um, if you like your vintage, you've got sort of a bit of vintage. A uh, bit of modern. Bit of very modern. <laughs> bit of DC, bit of Marvel. Some books. Anything you're interested in. So, Darren, don't worry. I have plenty of uh, Star Wars. That's just lot. I've got 23 lots today. 25, Tess. Tess is in there for 25. Not complicated to transform unless you're shabby. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Uh, you haven't seen my video yet. <laughs> Thank you, Darren. I appreciate it. You might be, you never know, there might be something you, like, you might like. You might like. Um, Plot I card. I've got, I've got plenty of vintage. I'll show you in a minute. I'll, I, I'll tell you what, next one, next one I'm going to do. Lot two will be the Ewok glider. How's that? How's that? How's that to keep you keep you watching? I all look really small now, don't I? So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go full screen on that. Look at that! Fully full instructions, fully boxed, fully complete. Absolute stunning piece. So it says it's a twenty-five pound for that. Any more bids? Give you 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8. I need a countdown timer, don't I? I should, I should ask Google, really, but uh, I'm not, I don't trust her. <laughs> 7, 6, 5, 4. Is it the Police Academy version? Yeah. Permitting is get you well. You can talk to me afterwards. There's no rush. Well, there is because I need to post them, but it is nice. It is. It's absolutely stunning. Rosaf, is that thirty-five? <laughs> is that 30, is that a bit of thirty-five? Come on, this is a, this is a Takari, a Takari, Takara. Tommy, Transformer. A masterpiece. It is a bloody masterpiece. It's beautiful. So, uh, looks like Robocop. He does actually, doesn't it? Yeah. So, there you go. Tezza's won that for £25. That's uh, lot number one gone. Don't know why you're coming with me. So there you go. Tess has won that one. Well done, Tess. I knew you'd buy that. I know, I know, so it's just, I can't turn the I can't turn the volume off on the on the phone. I've, I've been trying for about an hour. And for some reason I can't turn it. I know there's an echo. I've tried I've tried my utmost, honestly. I do apologize about that. But, uh, so number two, what number two? And I will, I will show you. 
I will open it up and it is complete, but I'll, uh, um, just 25 pound. So to Jason Donovan, definitely. You know, Jason Donovan liked Transformers, did you? Yeah, I know. It's, if anybody knows how to turn the bloody volume, I've turned it right down. It won't go right down. Uh, I've turned my speaker off on me, on my iMac. I was getting feedback, I was getting a lot of feedback, but I've tried my best with it. I do apologize for that. Um, it is muted, but it's coming back. I don't know how to do it, to be honest with you. See, it's coming from that feedback to the mats. It's a speaker, isn't it? We don't know how to. I can't do it through because that's the guest. That's the guest, and I'm unless I did it the other way around. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to live with it for now. I'll sort it. I'll sort it out. So, uh, lot number two is the combat Ewok combat glider. Go on, Dave. Buy that glider. <laughs> And that, um, if I can find it, I've got that many lots today. It's starting at thirty pound. That's starting at thirty pound. So you've got your dangly bits. You've got your dangly bits, both of them. You've got your instructions. I wish I had a spare Ewok to throw in. I'll leave the box up. You got the clip. Clip to hold your dangly bits and it does work. Both dangly bits. They look like dangly bits, don't they? And the holder for the Ewok. So you've got it complete plus The instructions are there. Shepard needs your balls. Yeah, he does. I need to buy the whole thing. Um, if I had just got the the dangly bits by themselves, I would have sent, sent him to him. But uh, it's the whole thing, unfortunately. So that's £30 if anybody, anybody's looking at that. Anybody wants that? It has got the uh, Palatoy sticker on the top. So it is a... Uh, it is a Palatoy version, even though it's, it says K9 of the box. They didn't uh, reprint the boxes. They just shipped over a load of K9 boxes and just put stickers on them. And shipped them out to the UK. Nobody's interested in that. That's surprising. They are going for a lot more than that. We learn to go with your Ewok village, your, your uh, battle wagon. No, nobody interested. Well, I'll leave it out if anybody um, is watching this on a rerun. Or, uh, yeah, or comes in later. Um, oh, Gary, Gary's in at 30. Gary's in at 30. <laughs> I've got to post you something anyway, Gary. I'm just, uh, it'll go in that, it'll be free postage for you. At five's at 30. No, oh, um, Gary was in first at 30. No, it's not a mini rig. We've, we've we've found this out, haven't we, Tess, that uh, the cannons and the um, vehicle maintenance energizer are action figure accessories and not mini rigs. 
the mini rigs are the numbered ones. But you didn't even say that in your video. So, it's at 35. Thirty-five, and it, even though it says Kenner on the box, it is a power toy. It's officially a power toy. So if you're a power toy collector, you've got a lovely power toy sticker on. <laughs> and even the the, the 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 instructions say Kenner, but uh, yeah, Kenner. We really do care, and they really did. A lot more than bloody Hasbro do. Put it that way. 40 for Darren. It's not a mini rig. It was actually in the movie. Yeah, it was actually in the movie, wasn't it? It's not a mini rig. I don't have any box stuff. I sold all mine because of space. Well, it's not a big box. <laughs> and you, you, you'd, um, you probably have fits to, to realise what my camera's been held up on to film this. <laughs> it's actually on a Polytoy box. Uh, you, you might notice that the Star Destroyer box is gone. Yes, it's stood on my Star Destroyer box. The only thing I could find that was, was tall enough to hold the camera. Sorry. Yeah. They're in 40, edge 42. Jonathan. Yeah. 42. I'm going to put these back in the box. Now, I'm going to take that off. For now, I'm going to put it back in the box. All nice and safe. It is, it is sealed at one side. The actual solitaire is sealing it at one side. It is, the solitaire is on the other side, but obviously it's open. There you go, look. Look what that says there. Action figure accessories sold separately. There you go. Confirmed. And on that side, Tripod laser, Canon, Ewok, Combat Glider, action figure accessories, not mini rigs. Confirmed, Tess, confirmed. You need to re edit your video. And don't use this clip in your video, please. Thank you. So that's going down. We're still a 42, yeah? Any, any more bids? You've got 10 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And that's Ed. That's Ed for forty-two pound. Thank you, Ed. Um, trying to find it. <laughs> forty-two pound. Lovely. That might take a while to get to, you. <laughs> but uh, trust me, it will get to you. Any other work, mini rigs? Yeah. yeah. Saying someone told me was wrong. <laughs> Actually, this will be the last video. Oh, that's spoilers. Lovely, lovely. Are you are you Mike? <laughs> My king, this guy is. Right then, um, I'm not going. I'm not going to to plan on me. I did the plan for me, bits. But lot number three is just something a bit fun. Just to, I'm just going to put some crappy bits in, just for for each everybody's pocket, everybody's pocket. So are you ready for this? Um, it's actually it's it's fully sealed. And you might be interested in it because um, I think they came out in the 2000s, late 2000s, I think. 
I'm just waiting for it to come around. <laughs> there you go. Imperial power power up pack. It's fully sealed. It's got a star destroyer in there. Um, I'll start that off at five pound. That's, you know, I'll start that off at three pound. Three pound. I just want to care for all pockets today, because there will be some. No, no, necessarily crap, but some decent, you know, some decent stuff for good prices. Uh, yeah, I need a gavel. Yeah, I, I could, I, I was going to buy one on Amazon yesterday. I could have it today, but yeah, I will get, I will get one. Don't you worry, I will get one. If anybody's got one, they don't need. Maybe not yet. Yeah, certainly maybe three pound starting bid. Uh, has anybody played this game? Pocket models, trading card game. And you can see, you got Tie Fighters and you got Imperial Shuttle. You got an Imperial Shuttle in there, as well as the uh, Star Destroyer. It's, as I say, it's, it's sealed. It's never been opened, so I can't open it and show you what contents are. Anybody interested in that for three pound? I don't like it, does it? <laughs> never mind. I mean, I, I, I haven't put any any of the things I didn't sell last time. I'm not putting this auction, funnily enough. Which maybe I should, maybe I should. The different people watching. I mean, things like this. I tried to get rid of that last time. Nobody's nobody's interested. Nobody's interested in it. Starter was. So it's just there on the shelf now. Nobody was bothered about it last time, so I'm not. I'm not going to recycle stuff. I don't think. Who knows? Depends what it is. I mean, this this is just for three pound. What? Oh, it's sealed. It's quite interesting. And I've had it for ages. I just never opened it. I think my son had the game actually, and it's just one of the things that bought and never opened. Is it diecast or plastic? It's, it's um, reinforced cardboard. It's like cardboard, really. Let's get it off there. I'll show it up to this camera. You can see. It's a... Uh, Contains eight, ex eight exclusive pocket models and 30 uh, game cards. TIE Fighters, Pillow Shuttle, uh, Star Destroyer. Suppose it's like a precursor to the X Wing. So I, 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 I bet you could use these, these in the X Wing. If you're uh, to you play X Wing, I'd love to start playing X Wing actually. You got one, it'll look more professional. Well, the gavel. Yeah. Like that Star Wars tour ship? Um, yeah, if you wanna if you wanna bid on it, Matt. Do you want me to put it in the auction? I forgot how much I had it up for last time. Nobody nobody That is that box box book rogers up again this week. Make me an offer. You know the, the starting bid was on that was hundred pound. You know that. I'm not selling it for less than £100 because it's quite special. I like it in that. I like it in the cabin. You can see it there. It's, uh, plus, you've got the, um, the the loose one to go with it. So, if, if I mean, if anything you saw in the last auction it still interests you, let me know and I will put it in. So, nobody's. Uh, no, nobody wants that. Not sold for £3. Oh, come on. You could have won that for three pounds. Right. Book crutches. Uh it could be. It could be if you're interested. Um so do we shall we shall we try on this one then? I'll have to look up, see how much I have on for last time. I don't think it was that much. Maybe it was too it was too much. 
Um, ten pound was the starting bid on that. So ten pound. Just let me know. Just let me know. It all lights up. It all works and everything. All lights up. All the doors open. Pretty cool, actually. So I say, ten pound of the stein B, but I won't take more less than ten pound because it's it looks good on the shelf, actually. But uh, ten, lovely, lovely, lovely. So I'll put that there on the uh, on the cam. Anybody else? So I'll sell it pretty, pretty quickly. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sold. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> So to Darren. See, I'm glad I said, I'm glad I said this. I'm glad I said something. <laughs> so that's sold as well from the last auction. As I say, if, if there's anything in the last auction or going into the next auction, in this auction, um, let me know. Let me know. Uh, so we, 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 do you want some vintage figures now? They're only loose, no weapons. I'm going to start off with the cheapest, cheapest two. There's a couple, there's a couple more that are pretty good, but uh, they are loose. So you've got an attack driver and a uh, snow, snow trooper. And for those two, I forgot what I've put down for <laughs> um, Ten pound, starting ten pound on those two. Both Hong Kong. Hey Brandon. I know the beaters, I know the beaters. Um, actually, you know what I mean? You know what? Let's, let's start on five. Oh, ten, right. <laughs> Me and my mouth. Let's start on five. You want them for ten? I'll do them for five. We'll start at five, Darren. Hey, cat. Yeah, we'll start at five. For those, Dan has put ten pound, but I did say five before he put it up. So, yeah, five pound. Me and my bloody mouth. <laughs> the attack driver is not too bad. The the obviously the snow trooper is a bit. I would say yellowed, but it's pinked. It's pinked and instead of yellowed. It's yeah. More of a reddish colour. I think it just needs a bit of a clean, to be honest with you. For your sun collection, so yeah, five pound, mate. Five pound starting. Anybody else? It's easy for your son. Five pound. Got to play with them, won't I? I'm, I'm, I'm assuming he will. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming he's a, 
younger and he's not <laughs> so but else at five pound i know it says 10 but uh i did say five No, 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 ten, nine, eight, seven, 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 Um, is anybody interested in Marvel? Marvel, Marvel Legends. I might try that next. I've gone totally off script. I'm just, I'm just, I'm trying to, trying to find those two now. Where have they gone? Oh, they're right at the top one. So, Darren. Serving up postage. <laughs> and five pound. That trooper. Nice. Right then. Talking of um, crappy figures. <laughs> Marvel Legends, Spy Master. If you see my review on him, you know I don't like him. Marvel Legends, you say? Yes, Marvel Legends. Mix it up here. Yeah, I'm trying to mix it up as much as I can. Marvel Legends, anybody interested in Spy Master? He's not got the Builder figure part. So I might see him. The builder figure is there, which I might I might sell another point in time. Um, he's got his pistol, the generic pistol you get with most Marvel characters. And I am going to start this. Believe it or not, at five pound. Five pound. I know nobody knows this character, and I only bought I only bought him for that builder figure part. It doesn't look that bad, to be honest with you. And he's a spy. What else can I say? <laughs> no, nobody interested in. Uh, a bit of Marvel Legends. No. No. Yeah. Five pound. Come on. Five pound. No. No. Not sold then. That's a shame. I wanted rid of him. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, wait, uh, there's nobody interested in Marvel Legends. Is that it? Is that what it is? Nobody's interested in Marvel Legends. Or, uh, or do we want to go um, DC? Like you think. Yeah, some this is more this more don't worry, it's more Star Wars. Would I sell the book book rogers? Nothing less than hundred pound, mate. Nothing less than hundred pound. For what the what I went through to source that. Right then, so if we don't like 
It's not like Marvel. We've got another Marvel coming up later on. But uh, it's a bit better, better figure than the last one anyway. Um, DC. What other builder figure parts are you selling? I have got... Um, I've got two parts of Thor. I've got his head and his leg, I do believe. And I've got that. But I think I might be selling that figure anyway. To be honest with you. Next, next auction. I just don't want to sell it all at once. So, right, <laughs> you want to see it, don't you? Right, you're going to see the back of it as it comes round. A bit of Batman for you. I was interested in Batman. I know one person is. I was talking about it earlier. <laughs> um. So so that's starting at ten pound. Ten pound for a Batman. It is amazing. It's massive and it's heavy, and it's got wings that come out. Oh. It's just, it's just. I'm just, to, I'm just trying to trim myself down. To be honest with you, I love it. Oh, it's a brilliant figure. But I just need to trim the shelf down. And with the wings out, it was just too big for the shelf. Well, it wasn't too big for the shelf, but I just wanted to add more things to it because you can see I've re been rearranging it on my shelves. And so, so I've got my uh, signed Captain Piet down there, and my uh, Adam Black Bear that I was gifted for my birthday. Adam. Thank you. Ed's ten pound. In at ten pound. Jumpy's got it already. Well, you can army build. I like Marvel. Just don't know that guy. Nobody knows that guy. <laughs> Anybody? Only people bought it is because for that builder figure part. Yeah, I know. It's 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 my camera. I'm sorry. I really am sorry about it. Um, what if I mute? What if I mute myself? No. that better can you can you still hear me let me know if that's better yeah i'll give you a minute so let me know you probably you might not be able to hear me <laughs> is that better is that better brilliant right so it's, it's me it's me man right well i never do that in the first place um, it's just that the sound is just quality is a lot better on the microphone, obviously, because it's a proper microphone. But on the, the built in microphone, I'm just, I, is it is the volume high enough, low enough? I can, I can change the volume, I do believe. Um, is that better, worse? Sound is perfect, all right. I'll turn it down a bit. I'll keep it quite high. But actually, it does it does um, automatically change. So, so you what? I'll just leave it as it is. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You might you might spend more money now. <laughs> right then. Where are we? Where are we? We're still at ten pound. Uh, is it ten pound yeah? Ten pound. What have I got? No sound now. Yeah, I know because I've I mean, everything. So it's still at ten pounds. 
silent auction. <laughs> Another excellent use of term show, exactly. Yes. So you're here. You've missed a couple of um, vintage Star Wars stuff, but not. I've been trying to hold back on the. I was losing. I was losing customers because I wasn't putting any vintage Star Wars up. But I put a couple of things up. But um, hey, what glider? It got sold, didn't it? Yeah, Ed's. Hey, what glider? Got sold. Um, the only things I've been sold so far are the Spy Master because nobody knows who the hell he is. Five pound, come on. And what else was there? Oh, yeah, that <sighs> three pound, three pound stein bit. Nobody bloody wants it anyway. So, where are, where are we? Ten pound, ten. Oh, come on, ten pound for this Batman. Yeah, no? Right then, you've got 10 seconds. You can still look. let me know if you can't him. Because, um... oh. Damn, what, what, what's up? What's up, Brandon? I'm sat on the floor, no, I'm sorry. I'm getting old. No, nobody. Right. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yeah, Brandon, you want rider. <laughs> That's me. Add ten pound. Plus shipping. Obviously, I don't know how much it is to Australia, but uh, we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> the last lot, you know, um, Scuba Pete uh, bought both the Dagobah things last time. And it was £100 shipping. So I lost money, actually lost money on that. But uh, never mind, you live and learn, you live and learn. So have to remember next time if you if you were in America and you order a big box, I need to charge you more shipping. <laughs> oh dear. These are pretty cool. These are really cool. Hey, look. These are really cool. Mission Fleet. Speed of bike, Kutin Jaren, and obviously the child in his little crib. And if you've seen our videos on these, the articulation on these tiny figures are um, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. That's cool, but yeah, so yeah, you sent me more, mate. Yeah, I know you did, but uh, I just, I'll just know next time. What I'll do is next time I'll order it, and then I'll charge it, if if you know what I mean. So, so Pete, I hope they get there in one piece. <laughs> you, should, you should have had them by now, anyway. Um, where are we? Mandalorian Mission Fleet. We're starting at £10. I think they'd retail at about 15 20 I think. I don't believe. Um, so £10. I mean, any, any of these, right? Any of these, that's just my starting bid. If you're interested and you want to bid a bit less, go for it. <laughs> I know it is, Pete. Yeah, it's it's not your it's not your problem. It's my it's, it's my silly fault. 
But there you go. Yeah, I like say if there's anything you see, and you say, say like, let's say eight pound on that now. Let's start it at eight pound. Obviously, it's been out of the box. It's gone back in the box, but it's all complete. It's all there. I just got the um, the set the child set, and it's actually a different uh, different Grogu as well. So if you are collecting these, you'd need both of them. Because this is one with the uh, silver ball, and the the other one you get with the protect child is reaching out. So. Nobody interested at £8? £8. They are really good. I, I tell you, I want to get all these mission fleet. I've got the Vader um, TIE Fighter, which is down there on my Death Star. And the Vader and the uh, Ahsoka. I would like, I wish they would do a build, like a, a Stormtrooper pack. So you could army build stormtroopers and have a real battle. I could I could put them all in my little Death Star. Little stormtroopers running. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Nobody want that then? Nobody bothered? Nobody's saying anything? It's still there, aren't you? You're still there, hopefully. Yeah. Just thumbs up if you're still there. No. Nobody wants Mission Fleet. What a shame. What a shame. What a shame. But, uh, yeah. So, obviously, <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm not going to put anything up. It's the concept book, big heavy book. These retail are twenty five pound, twenty five pound, and I'm going to. Uh, um, I'm going to start it at ten. Just, <laughs> just get the thumbs up, you might buy something. That's £10. And it retails at 25 Absolutely fantastic book. Oh, I'm going to stand up. 10 It's at 10 I can't turn that off now because it's... Fantastic. Fantastic book. I think I've done a, a video on these. I think it is the OG and the prequels, I think. We all know that image, don't we? Ralph McQuarrie. So there's a lot of Ralph, Ralph McQuarrie in here. I love that. I did, actually did... Uh, did an app, I did a drawing of that. I'll put on a watercolour for that. Once upon a time. So Ed's in at 10 for that. It's a bargain. A bargain. It's it's me it's not there's nothing nothing wrong with it. Look at that. It's a bargain. Ten pounds. Look at look at the artwork in it. Look at the artwork in that. Uh, there should be a video in there. Uh, my playlists. We can look through it. Yeah, it's the, it's the prequels on the OG. 
Oh, I love that. They got the post card of that. Come on, that's absolutely brilliant. I've got a couple more of these books as well. It is an awesome book. So it's at 10. The retail, the retail is £25. But it's, it's mint. It's just been on my bookshelf. You see my bookshelf. It's been on my bookshelf. I'm thinking, put it on there then. I don't think that. <laughs> you can't really see it, I know, but I could stand it up, I suppose. But anyway, you know, you've seen it now. Nobody else? Nobody else interested? Ten? I mean, you can go up in pounds, you know. And say 11 or 12. I'm, uh, I'm not fussy. It's a sweet book. And call for dinner. <laughs> Oh, I have some chicken nuggets for the start, so I'm all right. This is a sweet book. It is the concept book. I love it. I love it. I just need to get through a few things, that's all. And carry that, to, that book's still here waiting for you. I need to send that to you. Nobody else then? Ed wants that one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So to Ed. Bloody hell, Ed, I'm going to have to... I don't know what I'm going to do. We will uh, shipping for you. But I'll sort it. I'll sort it out. I just do what I did with Scub Pete. Uh, do you want another book, or do you want a toy next, or what do we fancy? Tell you what we what I'll do. We'll have a couple of card backs. These some come from Christopher King, from Etsy. He's on Instagram as well. So a two lot. Or Boba Fett, I love Pilot, and they are absolutely mint. These perfect cards. Well, it's, yeah, I'll uh, I'll get it, I'll get it booked and see how much it is. So you can't really see them on there, can you? Could do with it. I could do with me. Uh, tell you what, I'll try. Look at that. Look at that. Professional or what? <laughs> right. Stand big on those. They are, they are retail at £11 each. What's this up? What's this up? Um, I'll start at £10 for the two. Need a place down. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um so you know what as well I can uh, stop it there. There you go. Don't need to go around. <laughs> this is uh, ten pound. They are Christopher King's card backs. He does excellent work. Uh, I've got a couple more. I've got another lot as well. Uh, they're both going for ten pound for the job lot. Ten pound each for the job lot. Christopher King is a really good artist. And um, the next lot, a Robocop and Battlestar Galactica. Now the artwork on those is amazing. And the card stock is fantastic. So 
So a lot one of these cards is for the two Empire Strikes Back cards. I'll show you the back of them too. Put one back. Ten pound. If you've seen uh, Luke Reynolds' um, channel, he's got loads of these. So I'm surprised he's not here, is he? But if there's no interest, no interest in those, about the other two. Shall I put the other two up? No, no interest in those. Fair enough. I'll put the other two up. If not so, the Europa Cup and Bass Dagot Two ones. These he sells these at eleven pound each. So you get him, you get him one free basically. No. If you, if if you can get a bubble. I've got a bubble down here. Get a bubble, get a get a figure, and you could stick it on. Find a Cylon or a Robocop figure and slap it on. But if not, just get some card sleeves like I've got with my uh, my cards up there. No, I'm bothered about cards. Five pounds for the Battle Star only. Oh. Go on then, just just for let's take the robot cup away. Just the battle star then. Just the battle star, five pound starting bid. Robot cup and boba. <laughs> you got robot cup and boba. Right then. So we'll start with we'll we'll do the. The battle star first, starting at five. So we'll do, we'll do them individually. I was about that, at starting at five pound. We'll, I'll sell them individually at five pound, starting at five, and we'll go through them like that. So the uh, battle star is battle star. Galactica Centurion, Silent Centurion is, is started at five. Nobody. Yeah, Rosaf's in at five. Rosaf's in at five. And in at six. Ross I've seen at seven. Any more, Ed? Ed's in at eight. On you, Rosa. If you're out, let me know. No, I think he's out. 
So it's on either eight, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So next up is obviously we'll go for Robocop next then. We'll do the Robocop next. Sign up five for Robocop. Cheers, Rosa. Yeah. If you if you're bidding and you, you you don't want to go anymore, let me know. So Robocop starting at five pounds. Uh Celestis, you want to do five. Yeah. Celestis is in at, at five. It's a nice card, is that? Very nice card. And that's the back of it. Nobody else? Dev, did you want to go in with that? No. It's just like it's uh, just salacious then. Oh, edge, edge in at six. Are you coming back, Celestius? Are you out? Right then, I'm going to count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And again. So next up is the Luke, Snow Speeder Pilot, £75. You're right, it is. It is, yeah. Well spotted. Yeah, that it is. <laughs> That's what you could do, uh, re repaint it. Nobody wants to, uh, no, oh, Ed's in at five. Five for, uh, for Luke. I mean, look at look at the cards. And I've got a couple of real cards coming next. I'll do those next, actually. A couple of proper cards coming. I mean, these are proper cards, so they're not the vintage. These are modern. Heads on at five for that. I don't think there's any any love for that one, is there? <laughs> so I'm gonna count it down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Heads got that one too. This package is getting bigger. So we're gonna to go to the Bob Fett then. The Bob Fett card. Yeah, that would fit on it. Huh? 
Look at that. Advertise it now, what? Do I have a bubble? Um, six. Is that six on the Boba Fett? Dada. Is that six on the Boba Fett? Um, I do, but it's a cut bubble from the retro collection, and it's not got the. I've got the. You know, I've, I've cut it off, so all the the waffle seal is not on it. So it's just the bubble. It won't it won't um, fit it back. So I'm not sure if Darren was wanting the six on the look, or oh, it means because that's gone now. That's gone for five. But if you want the Boba Fett, yeah, Kissing sells them eleven pound each, so you get you get them cheaper. As I said, yeah, Etsy and um, is on Instagram as well. Check out Chris King on Instagram. Brilliant. Oh, he means he sells the bubbles. Oh, yeah, he does the bubbles, yeah. Yeah, he does the bubbles. So Darren's at six pound for um for Boba. Does include the start the statue obviously. That's just for display purposes only. <laughs> no, nobody else. Right, Darren, you've got it. Six. And I count down. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Darren's going for six. Um, what did he say for the? Um, it was five for the low, on it? And six for Wilbur. Bargain. For Luke. No, that had gone there. Six on Boba. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, six on Boba. Right then. We've got next up. I'll, I'll carry on with the cards. Let's put Boba away. Yeah, it's very special. And spoilers if you're uh, waiting for some vintage. There might be one coming. Um. I suppose I suppose I should have put those together, shouldn't I? Really, but I thought about it. But I don't want to encourage people to to do that. If you know me, right then. How about that one, Han Solo? In what I consider is one of the best car backs. Obviously, not the Palatine. It is the Kenner, but it's got this Revenge of the Jedi sticker. That is a sticker. Somebody's tried to re-glue a bubble on that by the look of it. And it's it's been colored, it's been coloured in. They tried the best blossom. So what you've got there is you've got your revenge sticker on there, and you've got a revenge Admiral Akbar sticker on the back, which I really should keep to go with my new, well, not new vintage. I've been sent my Admiral Akbar. So if nobody wants that. I'll keep it. Very very. Easily. Um, what should we say on that? Five pound. Starting bid five pound. And a vintage. It's worth it. I mean, it's, it's worth it for the. I think it's worth it for the Revenge of the Jedi stickers. And it's on a forty-eight card. I mean, you're obviously not going to put a bubble on 
put a cat, put a figure in that. But I suppose you can get one of those GW cases. It's got the the loose figure and the loose card, which I've had before. Um, I think I might just put put that thought screen to be honest with you. That's bad. You don't want to see me anyway, do you? Oh, new subscriber. Thank you. <laughs> Got two new Patreons this weekend. And a few new subscribers, which is good. Thank you to all of you. Thank you, Celestius, as well, for uh, joining my Patreon. Really appreciate it, mate. Hey, Tom. Don't six pound on, on hand, six pound for Tom. And these are legitimate cards, by the way, not like the other ones, not like Christians. These are proper vintage cards. Yeah, I should have kept it, for, uh, that's what I'm saying. Should have kept it for the, uh, the Akbar. I don't know. I bet. How would I display that? This is original vintage, yeah. It is. The proper Empire Strikes Back card. Can you tell? <laughs> Can you tell? Somebody tried to colour it in. And this, I mean, it's it's a pretty rare because he's got the, the Revenge of the Jedi sticker. It's a, it's actually it's not printed on. It's a sticker, is that? It's a sticker. And the back. That's a sticker as well. Oh, that's a sticker. I'd love to know what's underneath it. But I probably know what's underneath it anyway. But so. and it's bless him. Whoever had, had this was ticked off. What I had. Oh, it's, it's nice to see what people had. They had a Yoda, and a brown snake Yoda. So, yeah, it's nice. Is there anybody else? Nobody? Nobody want ham? Nobody? No? Come on, Han Solo. This is one of the best cards that you can get. That's another, that's another picture I did as a walk call. I've never gone back from college. I, had, I did a full portfolio of Star Wars paintings and drawings and stuff. And they, they never sent me them back. God. Just six, just six pound for this card. Right? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So to Tom. Next up, we've got another vintage card. This time a Palatoy of the Biker Scout. That's starting at ten pound. Is this one? This is a ten pound. This is a Palatoy. You know your Palatoy tax. Ten pounds, Ed. Again, it's somebody's drawing. Right? If if you really wanted, you could get rid of that. But uh, you're going to just be showing the front, I suppose, aren't you? It's got the bandolier strap offer on the bottom. Sixty-five back. How the hell do you pay? Scroll in the bottom. <laughs> it does say PayPal, mate. 
Metro Paper, do have his choice at gmail.com. So Ed's the Palatoy. Return the Jedi Biker Scout card for £10. You're getting bargains today. You're lucky because there's not a lot of people watching. I've got 56 people watching. No, that's not too bad. But there's not a lot of people bidding. People haven't got the wallets out, have they? I know, I know you're looking for decent stuff. <laughs> and everything, not everything's decent. I've got some good stuff coming up, though. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I better do a couple of books because I've got three books left. I've got three books, loads of toys. Just odds and sods, really. Who would have like that? Yeah, all my. Uh, my uh, all my cards. I've got all the Leia ones. I've got a, a 12 back Stormtrooper and a Kenner Canada Hammerhead. But I've just got this one. Got that one yesterday. Palatoy. Bosch. So I want all the. Uh, want all the Leia. But that's, as you see, it's in acrylic. £10 for five acrylic cases for the cards. Bargain. Buy my portfolio for six pound. Hey, if I could get it, it'd be worth a lot, a lot more than that to me, anyway. You're really slow, not seeing messages in time. Re refresh it, mate. And go out and come back in. Sixty-five back. Yeah. Ten pound from Andy. But Ed's, Ed's already in at ten pound, mate. Ed started at ten pound. You'll have, to, you'll have to be more than £10, unfortunately. Come on, Andy, it's Palatoy. So my chat is off. Well, the feed where we are. We're at ten pound. Do you want to bid any more? You have to be quick. It's a bargain at ten pound. A Palatoy card, twelve pound. Twelve pound. Ed's at forty. <laughs> See, Ed's, Ed's right in there. Ed, don't mess about. That's what you need to do. You need to be getting quick. Get your bids in quick. There is, there is a lag between when you comment and when I get it, obviously. So you have to be quick. Right, I'm going to count it down. At 14. i has got it for 14. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. One. Ed's got it for fourteen pound. I need I need an assistant. I really need an assistant. Anybody want to come in? Oh, can't come on. Thirty second delay. Yeah. Yeah. It's that. Yeah. It's about. There's, there's always there's always a delay. So that's what I mean. You've got to get your bids in quickly. That's the only problem. Uh, it, it's it's going out. 
so three different networks as well. It's not just YouTube, there's Twitch and there's um, Facebook as well. Not seeing the bids as they come in. Well, I am. I'm putting up on screen. So it's got that one. The Palatoy. can find it. Got that many locks. And I, I, I put them all in order. But I'm going off script. Um, It's uh, 14. I'd actually started that as 15, so you've got, you got a bag in there. <laughs> or do they have a Taiwan and a Hong Kong would have looked nice with? Yeah. Let's get those bids in. Right then, what's next? We'll go for another book. Um, since it's the anniversary of Rogue One, there's the art of Rogue One. Stamp me a ten pound. I want to sell the art up. No, I don't. You want? You probably won't have enough money anyway. <laughs> If you want it for five hundred pound, you can have it. That's a going rate for that pop-up artels, isn't it? And that's just the lightsaber. The art of Rogue One. Come on, five-year anniversary. I look at. I mean, these books. You know me. I always keep everything as mint as I can. Being on the bookshelf, they're not. I think I've looked through it maybe once, done a video on it. £500 PF. <laughs> there you go. If you want it, £500. It means more to me than you will ever know. Nobody interested in the art of Rogue One for £10. Twenty-five pound retail price. Oh, look at that cover! Especially the Andor series coming up as well. No, nobody for ten pound. Wow. Okay. Not sold. Not sold. I'm going back on the shelf then. Maybe in the next auction. So, right then. So, if that didn't sell, let's try this one. The Art of The Force Awakens. Again, mint. Retail 25. Turn that off. No. Everybody's going silent now. Nobody likes books, do they? Nobody likes books. Art books, look at this. Andy, come on, look at this. I bet you've got it anyway, haven't you? You'd be 250 for the art show. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. What was it, down payment? I'll give you 250 for the uh, lightsaber. Two fifty for the lights there, but Sartesia, Sartesia. Where's he going there? Get that. Get that light server. No repro going on there, mate. Look at that. Mint. Okay, 
can never go wrong with a pop-up light. So if you see if you've seen my video where I strained his legs, I took him apart, strained his legs as well. I was very nervous doing that video. Put it that way. No, it's, 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 there's two things I wouldn't sell in my collection. That is um, my signed Kerry Fisher and my pop-up light saber out too. You only need out of complete look poncho. Well, you need to pay for it. <laughs> no chance. My wind up R2. I ain't even paid for this yet. I still need to, I still need to pay Marky 20 quid for that. It's a car to wind up. I only need the droids. Or the uh I need the droid factory R2 and the droids R2. And I've got all the R2s there. Huh? Love that Kylo cover. Ten pounds. Ten pound if you want it. Sleeping. Go in. Nobody wants it. Ten pound. Reet. Look. Retail price. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Retail price at twenty five pound. Forty dollars. It's absolutely mint. But it's going. It's gone. Nobody wants that. I suppose nobody wants the Rogue One one. Nobody will want the Force Awakens one, will they? Right then, we'll do the last book, I think. So we'll do the last book. Uh, it's a bit more interesting, this one. The West King Games role-playing game. And this is the original. This is not the reprint. This is the original mint condition it's got a little bit of a thing there but uh, <laughs> how much for a hug i give three hugs you know that Yeah, this is the original role-playing game. Start me at 30 on that. £30. I doubt you will get one cheaper. I think the, the reissues I did a, few, a couple of years back, I think they're more than that. If you love your Western games, you need this book. Explain to lesser informed what this lot is, please. <laughs> right then. In uh, the late 80s, Western games brought out a lot of board games, role-playing games, and things like that. And this is actually being used. Um, Simothy Zorn used it for his Throne books, for the Throne trilogy. Luxfilm gave him this book and said, these are characters we want used. These are, this is the information. I'm only a simple Star Wars <laughs> Yeah, whatever. It, it, this was given to him to explain characters from Star Wars, to write his books. Um, let me... I'm sure you all know about Dungeons and Dragons and things like that. Um, it just tells you how to play Dungeons and Dragons. Star Wars style, basically. There's all the rules. 
all the adventures, this 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 uh, role playing adventures. You write your your thing in for your, to write your own your own character. You make your own own character, Star Wars character up, and all the tells you about all the different characters. Bounty Hunter, Brass Pilot, Ewok. You can be an Ewok, be any character you want. I think um, we're going to, on the Pala Boys, we're going to be doing this. Smuggler. We're going to be doing Dungeons and Dragons, Star Wars style, for our game nights. We're going to be doing um, quiz, quiz nights, and trivia nights, and game nights. Advert for the Imperial Navy. <laughs> so yeah, this oh the Celeste is still here. You can be a uh, a quacky monkey lizard look. You can be anything you want in this. And hear what you say, yes. Let's find the quacky monkey lizard. Okay. Smuggler, let's see. Tongue tied engineer. <laughs> yeah, outlaw pirate, Jedi. Mon Calamari minor Jedi. The Merc. Gambler. Failed Jedi. Maybe a failed Jedi. Quite interesting. Round to a brush pilot, Ewok. Oh, it's not a quirky monkey lizard for some reason. So it gives you like maps, maps for Dungeons and Dragons style Star Wars fun. And this is, this came out in 1987. And this is the original, not the uh, nice rack. Cheers, Andy. <laughs> so thirty pound. Anybody interested in that? Bit of Star Wars history. Google it. I'm telling you, Google it. This is the book. Hey, Sean. This is the book to have. If you're a Dungeons and Dragons fan and a Star Wars fan, no, nobody interested at thirty pounds, twenty-five. Mm. Uh, go on, Ed. Twenty-five. She could be at 25. No problem. Can it be used in the bedroom? It can be used anywhere, my friend. Anywhere you want. There's no slave layer, unfortunately. If there was, I'd be keeping it. <laughs> so we're at 25. And actually paid more than that. So there you go. Call yourself Star Wars fans. I don't know, right? Counting down. Nobody else is interested, are they? No. No, Andy, Andy, come on. I know you have you got this, Andy? You should have this. You should you should do Star Wars role playing with us. Oh, Slayer. No, Slave Layer. Sorry. Better ask your missus. <laughs> I don't think it was a missus you were about. <laughs> right then, I'm going to count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That was a big knock on it. Ed's buying everything tonight. I think uh, I think some of these other people need to start bidding. Ask oh, Scuba Pete. He's supposed to be listening. He bought everything last time. Bless him. Right then. We're going to go back to Marvel now. Let's get rid of this. 
And we're gonna go crossbones. Everybody knows crossbones, don't they? Nobody knows who uh, Spy Master is, but everybody knows crossbones. Surely. Such a cool figure as well. Again, this has not got the builder figure part. I <laughs> feel bad if you just, hey mate, don't worry about it. Choose your own style, your own adventure style book. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that's the kind of thing it was. Yeah. It's a Dungeons and Dragons Star Wars book, basically. That's what Western Games did. Oh, get rid of that. So, of crossbones, we're going to start out at £10. £10. He's got four weapons. Him and, my, him and punish, my Punisher didn't get on, so I've got to get rid of one of them. I'm not going to get rid of Punisher. Look at that, four weapons. Two of them going in his holsters and two of them going in his hands. Pretty cool. No, no Marvel love in the chat today, is there? No Marvel love whatsoever. Come on, that's a, come on. It's a great figure. Ten pound. No, you're not getting your builder figure part. But you're getting it boxed. And you're getting a bloody good figure for £10. Now, I'll give it time till it rotates. <laughs> no, not so. How about if I do both? Both Marvel characters for £10. Start bit of ten pound on both of them. What's Marvel? <laughs> what others am I selling? What other Marvel? These are the last two Marvel I've got. Hey, somebody knows Spy Master. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sean. Somebody knows Spy Master. So those two for ten pound. What's Marvel? Already on it. Marvel figures, but quite six selected. Yeah, me too. That's why I'm getting rid of these. I only got these really for the builder figure part. That's oh, a steal. You got both of them. Right, nobody wants them though. What a shame. I'll put them in the next auction. I'll put them in the next auction. Somebody might pop in that lights uh, Marvel. Or if anybody is actually watching this, uh, not live on a rerun, just hit me up and um, we can do a deal. Right then, we've got um, something very special for you now. <laughs> You're going to love these. Look at these. Disney Infinities. One for the kids. These are for kids. Yes, the Mission Fleet, but... Mission Fleet were for kids, but... These are for kids. But, I mean, they look pretty cool. They're, they're sealed. I know they don't work anymore, but they look cool as, as figures. Don't they? Honestly, they do, don't they? So for this lot, it's £10. 
Ten pounds for four figures. Two pound fifty each. I'm going to move these on pretty quickly if nobody was interested. So I know the Force Awakens and um, you got Kylo though. I mean, you could have Kylo and Ray together, and you can have Paul and Finn together if you're uh, into that kind of thing. Is that a bit of ten pound? No, nobody's bothered. Right, let's move them. Worth a shot. Are you bothered about these, sir? Oh, gee. And he was those in the bedroom. <laughs> Are you obsessed about using things in the bedroom? I think you're on the wrong stream. I think you need to go to the Anton stream. So you got Leia, you got Luke, you got Han, and you've got Chewie. And you got a desk sound as well, though. Again, all sealed. You've all gone silent. I can tell you're not impressed. Right then. Do we want some... Uh, do we want some proper figures? Is that what we want? Hmm? I don't know. I'll speak at once. Right. Make a gun bloody gum tree. Right then. How about these two? Oh, that's that all good timing, wasn't it? How 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 good was that? What good timing was that? Yes, I sold some really good stuff. Ten pound, yeah. All right, and rest. Twenty five pounds stein bid on those. You know, I haven't even checked those on compared to mine to see if they're better value, better, better quality. They look better quality than mine, actually. I should have checked them first. And <laughs> I should have checked them. But they are the mint. I mean, look at them. There's no paint. Paint rubs anywhere. Greedo still has his uh, antenna. Both Hong Kong. Which is quite, um, I don't know if it's quite rare for, for Greedo because the ones that I always pick up are Pock. They've also got the scar on them. So, not 15, no, 25, mate. 25. Start a bit of 25. I can't believe that timing. And Tim comes in there, I'll put a boss guy. <laughs> that wasn't planned. No weapons, no, sorry. No weapons, unfortunately. Brilliant timing. <laughs> um, quite easy to pick up. If you wanted weapons, I'd have to charge a lot more, a lot more, obviously. My Bosk is, my Bosk is in the cap too. And he's actually in worse shape than that one. <laughs> so I should have checked him before. I really should have checked them before. I was sorry look at the radar now. The radar's not too bad. Oh, that's a Hong Kong as well. 
There's my grader. His eyes, they've got better eyes as well. Anyway. That's head's a bit, his head's a bit wonky as well, compared with that one, but never mind. So if nobody wants to buy those, I'll keep, I'll keep them doing them. Uh, should have checked them first. That's my boss. See, he's got a bit of, bit of bloody paint rub on his hands. And that bosk hasn't. Anyway. Twenty-five, Ed. My clunky indeed. Twenty-five from Ed. In the cabinet he goes. Any advance on 25? Ed's buying everything today. Come on, somebody else buy something. We have a couple, two more vintage Star Wars items to go. Uh, I'll put one up next. And then I'll leave the, the good one to last. No advance on 25? Are you sure? Are you sure? Right then. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Three, two, one. Ed's got another a bargain there. Twenty-five. Uh, there, I'm going back in Ed's package. I'll put. I'll give you the stands as well. Don't worry about that. Right then. How about this bad boy? Taiwan Boba Fett. Taiwan Boba Fett, everybody. You start me at £30 for that. Got a bit of uh, pair up on the chest, obviously, as it always has. But it's a lighter, lighter grey, blue grey of the Taiwan. Let me show you the, let's see if I can uh, show you the CR, if you can see that, the Taiwan. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I need to explain how to get name board. You can't do it on phone. You've got to do it on my computer. Rocket firing. Well, you can pull it out if you want. It's up to you. Do what you want with it when you bought it. Yeah, it doesn't work on phone. You've got to... Um, it doesn't work on mobile. 20, no. No, 20. 30, 30 is the least... Sorry about the bloody hairs on there. <sighs> you get them free. No, not 20.
I'll go down to 25. Yeah, I'll have 25. Oops. I'll be breaking my next lot. I don't want to do that. No problem, but even loose specs have rocketed in the price, haven't they? 60 quid with a gun, yeah. Taiwan with a gun is usually about 50 quid. Yeah. I've got Taiwan one. I love the Taiwan one. I remember a few years back I was in Scotland at the uh, Calendar Time Museum and he had a box full of Taiwan bobbers with weapon. And I got it for twenty pound. Couldn't believe it. I'd, I'd have bought that a lot, uh, but the missus won't let me. But uh, never mind. Twenty-five. Any more? Any more for any more? You can bet. You can bet twenty-six if you want. It goes up in pounds. Three guns yesterday for 42, yeah. It's not in bad condition. It's got, like I said, it's got a bit of paint, paint rub on the chest, which you always get anywhere. Not as nice as my, my Bobby Fett. Mine, mine's a Hong Kong man. See the the difference in uh, colour, slightly lighter. But that chest paint, you can see the difference in chest paint, can't you? you know what I mean, but it's, uh, it's not too bad. I would have, I would have normally kept a Taiwan over in Hong Kong, but with that being a mint. 27. Okay, Dad, 27. How much is a tri logo fat losses? Uh, about 150. That one, that one that went last week at Vectis was a um, was a graded one. It went for what 760 pound. So you're gonna you're gonna be paying a thousand pound with with fees, and that's just ridiculous. Just because it's graded. You've missed everything, it says. Actually, you've, you've, you've bought, you've got one thing, haven't you? I've got a black, I've got a black pistol. I've got lots of different gold pistols. Stormtrooper. I put a retro, a retro collection. <laughs> I can put a retro collection uh, Stormy in with it if you. <laughs> it's for the for the blaster. Yeah, I'm painting knee. Yeah, I know, but 
you can get them for you can get them from 150 200 well you can't now but you, you could you used to be able to oh, yeah, i got offered one for 100 pound and i didn't i didn't check him up <laughs> Oh God! Why didn't I take him up? You got one of those too. Right then, let's call it twenty-seven pound, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So to Darren. I can find it. Yeah. See, that was going to be number. That was, that was the second lot. <laughs> I've waited till the last last few lots to uh, to sell that. Used to be able to get a pop up out of for two hundred and fifty. Yeah, he did. But double that now, mate. I told you five hundred quid if you want me to pop up out of. So 27 on that, don't we? Right, next one. Um, we didn't sell that earlier, so there's a few more people in it now. So I'm going to put it back on. And I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a like a bit of a job lot on. To be honest with you, let's get rid of that. Get rid of Bobby. Bobby Fett. Right, so we've got the Art of Star Wars from the Empire. Pretty good from 2000, 2000. Some good pictures in that. Um, we've got that again <laughs> sealed. Pretty cool. And we've got a power bank. So I just said £10 on that lot. Yeah. Well, I only bought my pop up out of what? 18 months ago? Just under two years ago? 18 months ago? 250. I could sell the light server for 250 now. So I'm trying again with that Imperial game. So you've got it's Imperial Shuttle, a couple of TIE Fighters. You've got eight ships in there, little cardboard ships that you make up. You got the cards, you got the dice. It's all sealed, never been opened. You got the art of Star Wars Empire. It was at the Barbican Centre. Was like all the concept art was was put up in the Barbican Centre, and that's like the guide to it. So, I'm not sure it's worth anything, but I'll just pop it in. And the Stormtrooper power bank that's again never been opened, never been used. So that little job lot, ten pound. No, no, just oh, okay. No problem. Hey, your power bank. How much your power bank says this? What about fiver? I don't know. Anyway, okay. No problem. That's gone then. Not sold. Not sold. Try again next time. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, last Marvel thing today. There's one there. Look at that. Scarlet Witch. Go on, you've all been watching One Division. You all love Elizabeth Olsen. I know I do. So that's five pounds for that. Five quid. Come on. 
Come on, there's only two lots left after this. Two lots left. So you've saved your money up right to the end. Come back from my stuff to finish my vintage collection before I get priced out. Yeah, me too. I need 11 for the last 17. And I need a Yoda cane as well. Another mm. subscriber. That's good, Christian. Thank you. Need to get to that thousand. Really do. She should bring your lady. She was actually on the lady shelves. Yeah, is it? But. Mrs. Harry kindly bought me a, um, you'll see in the video, when, it, when that video goes up, she kindly bought me a Funko of Scarlet. Oh, ho, ho, ho. so she's gone up on the, the lady shelves, the Funko shelves. She replaced one there. I know I should, I should really open her and put her on the lady shelf. But if nobody wants to, Probably will do. We'll do that. So nobody want to? Now, right, let's get on to the good stuff, shall we? Next up, I'm going to go to the uh, the me cam. Because I've got a really good... Ah, I don't think I can... Can you still look can you still hear me? I better leave that on because I don't know if you can hear me without that. He signed Kenny Baker poster. As you can see, it's been rolled up. That'll be folded. It's glossy. Proper, proper glossy. And it's, uh, you can see, authentic Kenny Baker. You all know Kenny Baker's autograph. You've probably got one yourselves, but uh, there you go. It's not that big either, so the frame won't be too expensive. It's got the. Uh, off. The certification number on the back as well. So if you want that, how, how much have I said for that? £25. £25 starting bid for Kenny Baker's autograph. How cool is that? How cool would that look on your wall? A nice black frame, bang it on your wall. How cool would that look? I was keeping myself, but I've got a Kenny Baker signed. I like to get my figures signed. I've got an Elite Series out of Rito signed by Kenny Baker, and I had it signed about two or three weeks before he died. So. Then he no, no interest on that £25. Really? Really? You'll do 25 Is that a bid? Is that an official bid? I think that's an official bid. If not, Ed's in at 25 Look how glossy that is. It's like a photo. It's photo quality paper. Random wants uh, 30 on that. I'm going to roll it up and put it away. I don't want to get it too bad. 33. Oh, just, just, just out there, Ed. 31, 33. I'm going to pop it back in the tube. I'll probably put it in a smaller tube than that because it's not too big. So it's ready for you to post. For me to post here. There. Ed's back in at 35. Oh, yeah. Brandon. <laughs> Brandon's at 35. 37. 
Three of you fighting out for this one. What I like to see. <laughs> you're not gonna get you're not gonna get one again, are you? You're not gonna get gonna get him to sign one again, unfortunately. Bless him. It's back in at 40. I've got one more lot after this. And that's it for today. It's been a long one today. I think it's been longer than the last one. What time are we at? Seven o'clock we're on. I bet the, the Liverpool game's finished, isn't it? Anybody know the Liverpool score? No, it goes... <laughs> Goes up in pounds, it says it at the bottom. You can't have a penny, no. Brandon's at 42, but that's his, his limit. 3 1 Liverpool. Cheers, Tim. Fantastic. What like. I'm surprised after I saw the team and I thought. I saw the team he put out. I was really surprised because West Ham are doing well. I'm glad of that, though. We needed that. We play better away than we do at home for some reason. Sorry? Is that, are, you, are you out? Are you out? Salah. Again, I, I, I thought he yeah, was coming back in form. I think, I think he wants out with Salah. Loving the channel, Tim. Yeah, everybody loved it. That was a good good stream last night. I didn't come into it till late on, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Victoria didn't say that much, did she, though? Unfortunately. So we're at 42. Brandon's got it at 42. Big 43 if you want it. 45 would be better. One more bid, because Brandon's out, I think. Mr. Cuts is out. So, Ed, if you want it. Bid now, because I'm going to count it down. We're going to go on to the last item. And probably the best item of the whole auction. For me, anyway. And if it doesn't sell, I'm not bothered. <laughs> I've got some more stuff coming anyway. I've got loads of stuff that I wanted to be in this auction. But, but yeah, how many lots have we had? 24 lots. But there will be another auction. I don't know if it's going to be in two weeks or it's going to be another month. I'm just going to, I need to get some stuff together again. And uh, hopefully. I know I've got a few things that come in that you might be interested in. Not, I mean, it's not going to be like mint stuff, obviously. Some stuff are going to be quite nice. Um, but, I mean, let me know. Hit me up and tell me what, what you'd like to see. What you, your interests are, what you'd like to see in these auctions. I know it's going to be mainly Star Wars, vintage Star Wars, because that's my focus. And to base, this is what I do is for a living. I collect vicariously of other people because I value their stuff and I get to handle it and this is what I like and pe people might think that actually my stuff the only, only thing I've got are um, the Hasbro crappy ones I would love an in vintage action man so I've got the um, the operations kit there in the case and I've got a couple of action force figures there a lot more matchbox you can see on me thing there. What we're talking about anyway. Yeah, this is my um this is my job and I can't do it at the moment obviously because I can't get to the, the auction houses. So I'm a freelance valuer and I value mainly Star Wars but more all all vintage toys basically. And I get to touch I get to, to play with well, not play with them, but you know, to touch them, to feel them. The toys that I've not seen before and it's brilliant stuff. I mean the day I went down to Palatoy. Well, the best day of my life, second best day of my life, if Debbie's watching. <laughs> um, it was brilliant. I could, I, I, I would love to. I, 
I set off here, from here at four o'clock in the morning. I didn't get back till nine o'clock at night. But I talked to all the Palatoy employees and everybody that came in to, for stuff to value worked at Palatoy and they were bringing the, all the Palatoy contracts in and receipts and it's like, oh, absolutely amazing. What a day. Uh, all right. Apprentice Ewok, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's all yours, mate. What do we say? 42. 42. Well done. <laughs> hey, if you'd have put another pound in, you'd have, you'd have won it. But uh, Brandon's won it. Brilliant. Happy for you. I'm glad it's gone to, gone to you, mate. Not saying anything about anybody else. <laughs> but Brandon's got I love him. 42 pound. Nice. Right then we've got one more one more lock, so I don't want to be I don't want to be blabbering on. I might talk a bit afterwards if you're uh, if you're interested. Right then. Are you ready for this? Um the box is there, basically. The box is there. Um <laughs> Um, but you'll see it when it spins round. What is the issue with it? There we go. All right, so far. <laughs> Found it a vintage VCO and Dengal with a crease on the top like $60. Wow. Here we go. Right, you ready for this? Yes, it's got it's got a flat missing. Um, yeah, but apart from that, it's a nice box. It smells of cardboard. And yes, uh, <laughs> is there any section inside? Obviously not. No, but what is one here? There is one here, and it's absolutely mint. <laughs> The wings are straight. The work. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pop them off yet because I don't want them to fly off. Um, all the stickers are mint, complete. Look at it. Look at the wings. How straight the wings are. How often do you see wings that straight? You do need an interceptor box. Well, this comes with the interceptor, fortunately. And yes, it works. I love, this is one of my favourite shapes. The speeder bike and the, uh, the Italian sector are my favourite. Obviously the, the cockpit works. There's not been there. So I've only got one tie pilot. But you're not having him. But that works. It's absolutely, absolutely mint. As I see the box has issues. As one issue basically it would display perfectly if you have it on an angle <laughs> but the piece of resistance is I mean I'll look in the light in the light I can see I can't really see in the light I'll put it on the on the turntable I don't know if it'll fit but oh there it's gonna gonna go around all right I think so yeah, the box, yeah, as it shows. But to play as well, that side is open, but uh, still got the solid tape on. Um, no more issues on that. It's, it's a buy, buy logo box. See, you can play, and it does it does fire off like I'm not going to I'm not going to demonstrate that. But the wings do fly off. It's just a cool ship. Just a cool ship all around. Hey, George. Nice to see you, mate. You missed the auction. You missed it out. But you've got... you got the best thing. I left the best thing to last. Definitely left the best thing to last. So, stand bid on that is £80. Nice. 
It was made in 1983, mate. There you go, 1983. Jay, uh, George is in the house. <laughs> yeah, clearly lasted two. Really good. It's, I can't. I, I don't think I've seen a better one. I'll be honest with you there. I've seen a few. I had one before. But I actually give away because the wings didn't work. It was all crooked because you're always going to get them crooked. These are straight. These are straight. I just can't believe it. it says it's bidding £1,983. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll take instalments, mate. I know, I know you're good for it. I know you're good for it. Do you start collecting Action Force? See, you always bring it back to Action Force, don't you, Josh? You always say, what's that? You always, always get it back to It's your fault. I've got some down there. I've got three figures down there, and that's all I've got of Action Force now. I sold most of it. Um, I would like the Robo Skull, yeah, but everybody wants the Robo Skull. <laughs> um, no, not for not, not for a mouse this time, unfortunately. I do need an Apple mouse though. Or a, a trackpad. I'd, I'd swap it for a trackpad. Yes, you do. <laughs> it's £80. I mean, that's a bargain. Come on. It's boxed. I know the box isn't, isn't the best, but you still got the box. So you can display it. If you displayed it like that, I even got it in a, in a colored case. But you want, I don't know, because I, I think you keep the box, you might have the doctor box on display, but then that ship needs to be on display as well. Now, if you see the back, if you can see the back, I have my ear wing and my X wing there on the wall. Now, I would love to put it at the bottom, at the side there, but, I've now got my Palatoy Death Stars on this turntable now. That's that's how I display my Palatoy Death Star on this turntable now. So it, go, it goes around, and um, it covers it. It covers that bit up now. But I've got a B wing on the way, so I'm wondering whether to put a B wing up there. Start collecting action force in 2020. <laughs> Yeah, but you've got some you've got some nice stuff there, Dev. So eighty pound. Nobody interested. Eight pound, seventy five then. <laughs> John, what's for sale? It's there, mate. I should keep that one. Uh, yeah, I should. I should actually, but I'm not going. I, it's, 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 I'm trying to get these auctions started to try and make myself some money, to be honest with you. I'll be transparent there. Um, obviously, I'm not working. I can't uh, do my valuations. I can't go out. And, uh, yeah. Less said about that, the better. Um, so, I need to make some money, and this is the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to start me on. I don't I'm going to start me on business about it. I'm just going to do auctions now and again. And uh, sorry, I'm still on the floor. I should bring the chair over now, but uh, I will bring the chair over in a minute. Actually, I will do it now. Let's, let's, let's do this properly, shall we? Yes, John, it's a tiny scepter. Uh, it's at 75 now. I've gone down to 75. With the box. You've got one though, haven't you, John? You've got everything, John. It's got the flat miss in there, but uh, it's a buy logo box. One, two, one, two. Right down there. So all the stuff that has not sold today, it's still available, obviously, if you're watching it back. So, so give me a shout if there's anything that you're interested in. I'm knackered now. I'm knackered now, so I'm going to get my chair. I'm gonna. <sighs> so nobody want that. Seventy-five. 
電車今出したよなあれちょっとあんまキャンプボックスコールズナイスいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいやば Let me know if you want it and I'll check it off sale. I'll turn, I'll turn my phone off now. So I'll put my desk there back on there. You want to look at my desk there? Go in and I know, dear. I'll turn the phone off and I'll go. Edge there for 75. God, Ed, the, the, your postage is going to be shocking, you know that. And do you, you do you do realize that? And two big boxes for school of Pete. Two big boxes, school of Pete, going to America, and it costs hundred pound. So I don't know how much it'll cost to go down to your man, but uh, just be aware of that. I just want to warn you about that. I could, I could look it up. I'll get our box up and I'll look it up and I'll let you know. So I'm, 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 um, I haven't talked up how much, how much you owe me already. But uh, I suppose with it being boxed though, I could put some of your items inside the box so it'd make it a smaller package. So that might help. Tempting. It's a nice one. It is. It's. I don't think you'll see a better one than that. And I'm not just saying that just 'cause I'm selling it. You sent me some Action Foster Scuba this week. Well, I just sent him two massive boxes, and I'm hoping they've got there. You'd be yes, hundred pound. They weren't heavy. They weren't heavy. They were just big. It was a day giver play set, and the The Airfix Dagobah model kit. Never had this back in the day. No, I only had an X Wing and a Scout Walker. But uh, I did have one a few years back and I gave it away. So that's the kind of guy I am. So we're turning this camera off now then. We'll go to the full screen. Right, so yeah, with myself. You'll hear some echo now. I remove that. There. How's that? Turn that off now. Oh, I know that. Right then. I can still hear myself. I can still hear myself. How is that? I turned it off on my phone. I can still hear myself. Weird. Right. How is everybody? You enjoyed that? How long have we been on? Two and a half hours. Got the vintage version of this. How the electronics? Perfect, mate. Perfect. Everything on it is perfect. Everything on it, even the wings fly off. Let me try do it without breaking it. See the wings fly off. On the perfect. Look at that, straight as hell. Can't believe it myself, really.
So it's still at 75. And that, I'm actually losing money on that. But that's what I guess, that's what I'm I'm like. I will start it at the at the price point that I bought it for. So I started it at 80. So that's how much I paid for it. Oh, reach the other light. Yeah, the other light. There. There. Turn those lights off. We'll be listening to any vintage collection. Um, I've only got a couple. Uh, have I got? I've got a spare Doctor Afro. Anybody interested in Doctor Afro? I could have sold that, I suppose. But uh, yeah, thanks for reminding me. Whatever, sell me that. At. Um, well, it's boxed. Empire Strikes box box. Perfect box. It's not got the inners. It's got the instructions. Fully working. Fully complete. Um, I'd have to sell it for like something like silly, like two hundred and fifty pound, if I were going to sell it. Yeah, I just shut it. I shut it all down. Yeah, I sound like a siren. We've had that. All the ships are in the loft. Get them out. Come on. What are you playing at? Oh, I can see my death star there. Oh, I still need the canopy for that. Don't test. And um, this, where well, the stormtroopers are there, that piece, I need that piece because that's sagging badly. So I need that piece. I need the corridor. And I need the transcom back to I don't need them, need them, complete it, because I've already got them, but they just need upgrading. But I do need the canopy. Any wow wings? Not yet. I can get older one, though, if you're uh, if you're interested for next time. I've got a beer wing coming. Does your doctor have to have the warning sticker on the top right of the card? Let's have a look. Um, I'm trying to remember where they are. I've got two of them, so uh, yeah, that does. You don't want that, do you? And the other one, I don't believe it's in the bedroom. They're both they're both the same because I got them at the same time. I bought two, and well, they were five pound fifty at the entertainer. <laughs> Canopy, yeah, it's my birthday, song Taz. You know you want to, you know you want to send it. You know you want to send me that canopy, don't you? Come on, I can do a review on it then, <laughs> finally. Um, the Retro Collection stand is available too, but you'd have to come and collect that. Um, I'm walking to offers on that. I've put it in the Retro Collection Facebook group. I don't think I don't think they allowed it to be honest with you. I said I asked them if there were sales sales allowed, and they said yeah. So I put it open, and I don't know if I haven't heard anything. Um, obviously the people have been asking about the Buck Rogers Corgi box Corgi, uh, but that's hundred pound at least. If I if, if I let that go, but most of this. Most of this stuff they are now keeping. Um, obviously, I'll make Princess Leia stuff. I've got one more special Princess Leia thing coming. That um, Mr. John Adams um, got for me on eBay. And I'm very pleased. This is he, he opened it up and says, Do you want me to open it up and show you? And I went, Yeah, go on then. So he showed. He says, oh, I might want to keep this. <laughs> uh, like the Dr. Afra. Make me an offer. I've got two of them. Yeah, I've just told you how much I paid for it, so there you go. Give me a tenner for it. I've got two other vintage collection figures. Is that funny? <laughs> um, 
I got the ginger and back. Oh, sold. Ah, oh, lovely. I'll stay in bed. <laughs> um, yeah, and I've got the fives. But they're pinned on my bedroom wall. I'd, I'd like to show them off. I'd like to bring them in here and show them off because they're pretty cool. But like I say, I don't do vintage collection. But I'd like to. I'd like to get into it. I would like to. I would like to. I want. But the thing is, I want to. I want to finish my vintage off. I need to get the eleven vintage first. The eleven um, last set of the last seventeen. I need. So anybody's got a man a man, looks down through a imperial dignitary, imperial gunner. Um, two of the Ewoks and the rest of them. Let me know. How does a, a, a boxed, a boxed new vintage end of in all oh, the, the, the modern one? Um, quite a lot. If you get a box, if you'd be lucky to get a boxed one. You don't see many. You see a lot. You see a few of the um, Millennium Falcons. But you don't see many vintage art. It, it, the end, end of, I'm, I'm sure you mean the, is it, what it the 2000s? The um, Legacy, was it Legacy Collection? That's that. With the big gun in it. and Yeah, it's pretty cool, that. And you get the speeder bike in the back of it and everything, yeah. Where am I from? I'm from, yeah. <laughs> I'm from Leeds. Trash compactor guy. Leeds, UK. You're not having me pop-up auto, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. The only, the only way you're going to get my pop-up auto is to pay £500 for it. And that is a bargain. Yeah. I was, I was thinking about 250 to 500 because you don't see many of them, do you? That's one thing you don't see many. I would love one. I see, you see them loose, but not boxed. You watch my new Twitter videos. Well, today, I watched the ones last night. I got, I, I, I caught up on your uh, collection videos and yeah, Darth Vader, Darth Vader carded. I love that, mate. <laughs> on your speeder bike I want that speeder bike it's making holes it's making your carp holes in your carpet you need to get rid of it mate got two endos still in the outer boxes wow wow you know when I do these auctions I'll I'll sell stuff for you at a commission if you need anything selling, I will sell it for you on these. I mean, I've got 59 people. This is only my second auction. So hopefully I'll get a few more people watching and a few more people bidding, hopefully. <laughs> Can I pay? It's like a small appetite, like a volavon. Can I pay? You got one in the shipper. Oh, Tim, you need to send me that. <laughs> Couple of those, that's ATS is a hot cest. Wow. See, I missed all that, that, that period because um, my son, between 95, it was born in 95, so like 10 years. We collected everything Star Wars, and then after that, when the films finished, and um, we stopped, we stopped getting stuff. Eh, yeah, you missed it. We didn't sell that Tie Fighter, did we? We got the Tie Fighter, uh, Tie Tie Fighter, Tie Interceptor. Um, that's still that's still going, actually, isn't it? What did we get up to seventy five pound? Um, you have to rewind it. I'm not putting it all back together in the box and everything like that. That was the last one. We didn't sell it, did we? 
Um, oh, thank you, Darren. Can it be Zoom is I need really need something like this. Good job. Thank you. Oh, you did some videos today, John. I'll have to look at those. 75, yes. I'll take the interceptor. Um, it says 75. I didn't actually put the hammer down, did I? So it's still available at 75. So we need to sort this out. We need to get this done. I'm sorry, I started blabbering on. I thought we'd finished, but if you want it, you're going to have to be more than 75. Bloody auto pop ups. We're a pain in the ass for 12 years. I'll get one at farthest. Yeah, if you ever lose one. Hey, just go on. Um, Echo Bess, there'll be some on that. Basically, wrapping up my hair. So, yeah, 20, uh, 75 to um, Ed. You've got 10 seconds if you want to bid more. Um, because Ed's going to. It's going to cost about £100 in shipping. <laughs> um, basically, I think. Hang on. So, do, do, do. Oh, maybe not that much, but uh, I don't know, to Australia. So he's got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ed's got it for 75 there you go write that down so i've lost i've actually lost money on that but it's been good today zed there you go oh george you've just missed out 80 and shabby's here as well you just missed it last one. Oh, george Sorry about the lag, but yeah, Ed's got it for 75. Do apologize. Yep. Yeah. You know what? Glider's gone. Lovely interceptor. Andy's back. Got your pop up R2. Oh, Mark's here as well. Got my pop up R2 for £85. A poor list dog about six years ago. Still, uh, yeah, you talk about six years ago, you're talking about 120, 150, something like that. Got your transformer. Send you a total on Insta. Ooh. I'll have to uh, get it all boxed up, man. Get it, get your uh, get a shipping total as well. Um, I will get. Yeah, let's. Just, we've got ten. Yeah, we've Two or one, but we'll call it two hundred plus your shipping. So there you go, two hundred plus your shipping. Which I'll try and get it as cheap as possible. But I said that one to to um, to couple of people was hundred pound. I don't think it'll be that much. So not they're not that big other. I say I can probably try and get as much as I can in the box and try and sort it out. But it'll be packed up. Nicely, don't worry, don't worry about that. Have you done good? <laughs> yeah, not bad. And good job, uh, good job, Ed was here because he bought everything basically 200 pounds worth of stuff plus shipping. Um, PayPal's there anyway. If anybody wants to, but I need to, I need. I need to sort everybody out with uh, shipping and things like that, but I'll I'll sort it all out. And I'll get I'll get back to you. Right, 
Maybe count down from 20. Um, could do, yeah. I don't know. It's, this that's the, that's the problem with the lag. That's the problem. You, get, you need to get your bids in early. Like the state of Vectis. <laughs> get your bids in early. Uh, message you later. Yeah, I'll message you later. Yeah, those books are quite heavy, so yeah, that's what's going to weigh it down a bit. But we'll see. We'll try and get it as cheap as possible. Um, I use U UPS for Scuba Peak, so that that wasn't cheap at all. Obviously, I just wanted wanted to get them to get there. But saying that, I've been waiting for stuff from Australia for months and months. I know my mum's been waiting for a package from Australia, no, from New Zealand. Um, it was for Christmas and she still ain't got it. <laughs> What's left? Um, we've got some Disney Infinity figures. Two lots of Disney Infinity. We've got an RG. We've got Han, Chewie, Luke and Leia. And we've got uh, Kylo Ren, Ray, Finn and Poe. Infinities. Two lot there. Um, got a job lot of the. Uh, I'm trying to get rid of it. It's sealed. It is. It's sealed. It's never been used. All the all the cards in there need make need putting together, and you get you get like uh, tie fires and things like that. And uh, imperial shuttle shabby. Imperial, there's your imperial shuttle, and you put it all together, and like there's a star destroyer and everything. So all the cards in there is sealed, and the so I was, I was saying ten pounds for those two, and, and the and the art of Star Wars pamphlet thing. Pretty good, pretty good actually. So much nice artwork in it. So that's that lot's ten pound. We have the mission fleet. Speed a bike. That's still available. And that will go for £10, starting bit at £10. They can have that for £10 if you want it. I've got the two Marvel characters. Spy Master, who everybody knows. Everybody knows Spy Master, don't they? And Crossbones. And £10 for those two. Every ten pound, isn't it? The infinity. Those are the infinity figures. Oh, I'll show you the Force Awakens ones. Nobody's really bothered about them. I was asking for. I was asking ten pound for them. Everything's ten pound. Everything that went for. I was asking ten pound for. I didn't so. For some reason. There you go. Lovely. Um, Darren, have you got Twitter? Be best on Twitter, mate. But you can um, email me. It says it there. Boharvestoys at gmail.com. Cheers, Rosaf. Very nice. Shabby Timothy. Is that two two box complete speeder bags in the it's off, yeah. It is, yeah. The two boxes, the flat box and the square box. And this the speeder bags at the front. One's in the box, one's loose. Oh Ed. Wow, mate. You've not been drinking. <laughs> Be all a dream when you wake up. <laughs> I spent how much? What was the best deal today? I think the tie, tie interceptor. Definitely the tie interceptor. It's got to be. £75 for a box tie interceptor that's in that good a con condition. That's got the wings. straight those are uh, 
I know, I don't know why, I don't know why Palatite didn't put that noise in that X-Wing. I think the, I think the Millennium Falcon noise were the worst. Ah, <sighs> dear. He's got a good offer, £200, plus shipping. <laughs> Keep saying plus shipping. I'm not getting stiffed on shipping again like I did with Pete. <laughs> Yeah, one piece fault. My fault. Yeah, totally my fault. But there you go. Oh yeah, the signed signed Kenny poster. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just a picture anyway. It was it was on photo photo paper, and it was signed by Kenny. It's just been sat in the bedroom for so long. So I thought, oh, I'll just see if anybody wants it. Cheers, Darren. No problem. I'll sort you out. Um, I can't remember what you bought. Um, oh, the figures, won't it? Oh, the Stato's as well. Yeah, so probably probably £4.50 postage for you. I also it signed for, though. I also it signed for, so we'll say, probably say, I'll say £4 shipping on that. So, um, oh, we can work it out here. So, 20, 20, 20, 32, 42, 42, 47 pound. I think that's, did you buy it? You didn't buy a card, did you as well? Did you get you didn't buy a card as well, did you? So forty seven pound, Darren. I think that's what you, you got the, the, the star tours and the three figures. The attack driver, the uh, Snow Trooper, and the Boba Fett. Is that all you got? I I can't read me on bloody writing. Uh so Ed got three of the cards. Oh bought the Boba. Did you buy the Boba? Did you buy the Boba as well? Oh, the Doctor after as well, yeah, right. So that's another ten pound. I need to write that down. I didn't write that down. So it's fifty-seven. Did you get the card as well? Did you get the Boba card? Who bought the Boba card? So I've written down Boba. <laughs> written down Boba twice. Jesus, you know. I think you bought you bought the yeah you did didn't you? You bought the Boba card as well. So that's. Did I say 60, 63 pound, please, Darren? If you want to just send it to me in PayPal, which is the same. Yeah, you got the Dr. Afra. All right, Tom. You've, you already paid me. You need to pay for shipping as well, though. Uh, what did you buy? Hand card. So two pound extra, so eight pound. Yeah, PayPal, please. I need to. Where's my phone? Let's just check on uh, how much. Sorry for doing this while I'm on. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this on this live stream. I know, but. Um, Right, yeah, yeah, Tom, brilliant, cheers. That's lovely. Much appreciated. <laughs> yes, yeah, Boba figure and card, yeah. Oh, yeah, you got Boba figure and card, yeah. I hope you're not going to put it on that card. I hope not. <laughs> Do it what you want with it, mate, when you, you bought it now. Um, what did I say, 63? £63, please. Darren, PayPal. Tom's already sent his. Wow. Cheers, Tom. You shouldn't be what you shouldn't be on your phone at work. You get into trouble. We all get into trouble. Jesus. Ah, let's put me. Put me light down there. Carry. 
page. Right, so you know we've uh, upped up to StreamYard limit, so we're going to be doing more streaming. We're going to be doing quiz nights. I've got some quiz cards. Uh, we're going to be doing all sorts, really. It's just getting the right time because there's so many people streaming at the moment. We need to do. We're going to be doing later later streams for the American audience, Australian audience, um, all sorts. Really, I wanted to do game nights. I wanted to play games and do similar like I've done today. With uh, put the, the board down, look at the board, play the game. If that's of interest to people, I don't know if it will. We'd like to do like a Dungeons and Dragons Star Wars Star Wars role playing game, like the book. Did I sell that book? Yeah, I sold that book, didn't I? Oh, to Ed. <laughs> Ed sold. Right. So, there you go. Anyway, it's been lovely. Thank you. Oh, I remember. Uh, it's now 10 to 8 o'clock. 10 to 8 o'clock. pound fifty. What the hell are you on about, John? <laughs> Yeah, I want to, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to put them at a low price, but that's to get people in. Um, I just put it as a price that I buy it for. Right. Um, I just, I set it the price that I for, like, like the Tide Interceptor, I bought it for eighty pound. I, I set it at eighty pound, and I thought it'd sell for more than that, but it didn't. It sold for less. Live and learn. But I will get. I've got shipping on that as well. Um, so basically, I've got what well, I paid for it. Simple as that. Yeah, I'm a candy and cracker lot, yeah. No more crackers for a while, please. Just more chocolate. Those peanut butter M&Ms. I can't stop eating them. Send me more. <laughs> was enjoyable watch. Thank you. Get a mouse now. Yeah, oh, damn it. I missed. I probably missed that bloody mouse I was looking for. Uh, anybody's got an Apple mouse? Please, because the one I've got now is a crappy little one that I can't edit with. I know you're saying, edit? Do you edit? <laughs> yeah, I've missed, oh, I've missed them. Can you believe that? The trackpad going in 15 hours, but I've missed all the ones I was watching. Bugger. Oh, gavel as well. Mr. Gavel for £6. Oh, look at that. £36, £34, and I missed out on them. Boxed, Apple Mouse 2, £36, and I missed it. God, I'm furious now. Anyway, I'll get one. I've got one being constantly used. Yeah, but... <sighs> apples, apples do not just stop working like that. The, the 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 mouse those mouses those magic mouse ones though apparently they got the well known for it but <sighs> hey John come on with us then we want to do we want to do some um, some D and D maybe but we want to do it Star Wars related oh you're gonna send me an apple oh wow that'd be nice. Yeah, last time I did an auction, Gary, Gary Moore, bless him, sent me. I want. I did the last auction. It was it was my ex-wife's idea to do these auctions, by the way. And she said, because I needed a new phone, because mine's knackered. And she says, why don't you just do an auction, sell some of your stuff? I says, well, oh, good idea. So I did it. That's why I've done it. And um, I, I had the Kellerman. I was selling the Kellerman book. And... Um, I didn't sell it. I know. I know Andy wanted it, but he, I think he wasn't gonna. 
I don't, I don't know if I'm too sure about it. I found him another one anyway, but I don't think he bought it. I, bought him a, I found him a lot cheaper, but um, Gary sent me iPhone 11, Max Pro, and the camera on that is phenomenal. It's a, oh, it's a brilliant phone. You got tired of peanut butter and arms. Hey, if you've got any left, send them me. You know, uh, I love those. Well, big family size. I haven't got, I haven't eaten it all, obviously, but I'm getting through them. <laughs> hey, got a, got a feeling these auctions are going to go massive. Really good fun. Oh, cheers, mate. Yeah, I, 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 I like doing them. It's my job, basically, isn't it? I don't, I'm not, I don't auction, but I just value. So, yeah. Yeah, it's got to be wireless. It, at least in a Magic Mouse one. Um, I prefer to, obviously, or a trackpad. But what have you got, mate? People are swearing. Who's swearing? What else sold, mate? Nearly everything. Scarlet Witch didn't sell. The Crossbones didn't sell. The Force Awakens book didn't sell. The Disney Infinities didn't sell. Spy Master didn't sell, because nobody knows who he is. The Rogue One book didn't sell. And the Mission Fleet didn't sell. So there you go. I've had an Australian sweets. No, I haven't. I haven't. Oh, Scuba Pete, yes. I can't say anything more about that. Yeah, please. If you want to if you want to send me, that'd be nice. <laughs> Magic Mouse, yeah. The oh, where have I put it? This is my Magic Mouse. Don't stop working, but it's the battery operated one. The Magic Mouse Two is why is is you plug it in. You know, there's no batteries in it. It just recharges it, but it's just stop working for some reason. I need one of them. Desperate for one of them because you can scroll with it. I'm just so used to that. You know, when I'm editing videos, you scroll from left to right. And I'm just used, so used to doing that. I just don't know what it's going to be like with Garage Band. Oh, God. It's going to be a nightmare. But that doesn't, obviously, it's just a little crappy. It's good job I had it, though. Because. Um, Five minutes before I go in to do the Hasbro live stream, I found out my mouse didn't work. So I was I was turning the the place upside down to try and find this, but I got it just in time. Bloody hell! What do you have to do? What's <laughs> like the after dry up? <laughs> Got anything else? Yes, I've got a B Wing fighter coming. Uh, there's lots of things coming. I've got a um, maybe an X Wing fighter as well. Not boxed, but uh, yeah, we'll all join George. In fact, let's do it right now. Let's all do it right now while we're, we're watching. Uh, is that what you call vintage action force? Figures Palatai. Nice one. Join. I'll join as me and not as Blavis Vintage. Pending. There you go. Give me the thumbs up. It's on Facebook. Yeah, just uh, just joined. 
Well, pending, so you need to let me in. Let me in. Oh, it's eight o'clock. Do you want to? Do you want me to carry on a bit? Talk a bit? Or, uh, do you want me to bugger off? I can bugger off if you want me to. I need to get all these invoices out. Yeah, Dave. Dave will definitely join. I love this action faster, Dave. Um, he wants. That is the person that I told you about last night that wants a robo skull. Dave, I thought I thought George was the one that had eight robo skulls, but apparently there's somebody in that group that's got eight robo skulls. So I have a word we want. I have a word with him. Might want to sell one. I'd love, love one myself. I saw the. Um, I saw the prototype when I was down at Colville. When I was working down at uh, Palatoy, I saw the, the prototype. I've got pictures of it. Hey. I love that. I love that vehicle. That is a, that is my favourite non-Star Wars vehicle. Most favourite. He thinks it's on that one. So yeah, I've put uh, as Mark and not Blue Harvest. Um. Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't go on it. It's just there for for Blue Harvest basically, and for the Facebook groups, and for the Leicester Vintage Toy Shop. Are you going, Rosaf? Is that is that my um, is that my collector in your avatar? Is that my um, case in your avatar? <laughs> I know it's yours, mate. You bought it. I've um, I've not had nobody asking about my case. I can't see it now. I've put it down at the bottom shelf at the back. And I've put my uh, survival kit at the back. And you, can't, you still can't see it. My survival kit is uh, at the back of the figures there. You can just see the instructions leaflet there in the acrylic case. Eight robo skulls he has, yeah. I thought it was George. That's why I asked him last night. But it, obviously not, unfortunately. Because uh, I'd, like, I'd love a ro Imagine a robo skull in there. Oh, yes. Nice one. Bedtime. What, eight o'clock? What time are you up in the morning? Robo skull army building. <laughs> Definitely. Imagine having eight. Oh. Imagine having Bob Breakin's um, prototype. <laughs> yeah, when I went down to bloody part time, Bob Breakin wasn't there, were he? Typical. Spoke to everybody else all that worked there. That was brilliant. Um, my retro collection case display thing is still available if anybody wants to buy that, wants to make me an offer on that. But you'll have to come and collect that because that's not going to get posted. Yeah, someone has eight robo skulls. Why do you need eight? Uh, I'll see you, Rosaf. Cheers for coming on again, mate. Appreciate you. You know that. Are you going, George, or are you just saying bye to somebody else? <laughs> uh, I've got I've got these these bloody Lego plates. If anybody needs. Lego plates. It's not official Lego, but nice little. I mean, you could make it like a square, I suppose. If anybody needs those, I've got just got loads of crap. These are from leftover from the shop. Believe it or not, I just got loads of crap from the shop that I've still got. I've still got my sign. I've still got my bloody sign. So. Yeah, I need to put my desktop back on my uh, turntable now. I need to put my Star Destroyer back. Oh! Anybody want a Star Destroyer? Anybody who's got the, the bulb holder, that is the only thing I need. Uh, the clip for the hologram strip and the, the bulb holder. That's all I need to complete that. Ooh. 
God. I need to put that tie interceptor back. Right. Shattered now. Shattered. I have to go to bed early. No, I'm not. So is anybody doing any live streams tonight? Apart from me, obviously. Because there were there were about four going on last night at the same time, and I was trying to click between. But there you go. I have to watch the Liverpool highlights, I suppose. Twenty quid for the Star Destroyer. Yeah, whatever. Oh, they're good. they're going for like hundred and fifty quid now, especially in the Palatoy box. Happened to me shop. Um, no, I didn't close. Could it was it was four years ago. Four years ago, I shot shot it. It was Christmas Eve, two thousand and sixteen. I shot. Um, it was like I was working from nine o'clock till one. And then going to work full time till ten o'clock, five days a week, working all day in the shop, Saturday. And um, my wife said we weren't seeing enough of each other. We only see each other, saw each other. She worked there on a Saturday, which she now says she loves. She wishes that we were back there, <laughs> but. She said the only time we saw each other was Sundays and we were just going out for things for the shop. So she, she wanted me to shut it down, so I shut it down. I don't know, it's like a pieces. Yeah, they're right, they're right for you. You can have them. Oh, no. Is he... Um, is, he is he gaming? Is he doing a live stream? So I'll pop off if... They just released a classic 9-11 set. No, I don't know what you mean. Don't you know what I mean there? Vintage Toy Shop, yeah, it was. Oh, Lego one. Nice one. Live stream serving. Yeah. No, right. No, no, that is. It's it's very popular. Um, I mean, I went. It's that popular. I went into my local home bargains, and they've got these live stream lighting stands now. They've got like three or four different ones, and they've got like little packs of little where you can put on your phone. You can clip it to your phone, and it's got a light on it. And they've got live streaming. So I'm thinking, how many people live stream now? You know what I mean? I mean, it's it's good. It's good that we've we still doing it, and we started when we did. Because I don't, I I, I was I had less than fifty subscribers before we started live streaming, and now look, I'm just over eight hundred now. That's that's under a year. By I've worked out by April, I should have my thousand. So that April is is my second year. My second anniversary, so they say it takes two years to get your first thousand, which fair enough. It's, it's like I'd, I'd grind. Hey, Harry, you missed me auction, you've missed it all, mate. I don't think there's anything you'd buy anyway, to be honest with you. Um, no, I don't think there's, there's anything you'd uh, you'd be interested in. Now talking to some bloke. <laughs> Shall we have a look? Do you want to show? Shall we have a look? Shall we? Uh... Let's get him on. Eh? Let's get him on. Yeah, dear. I love doing this. Uh... There he is. Let's uh, just get rid of the chat. Uh, do we want to get rid of Oh, Celestis is over there, is it? Ah. Right then. You know what? I'm going to put in the chat because I'm going to, I'm going to chat. We're going to chat to him. 
Let's uh, share screen. So we uh, on me too. Yeah, so far it's it's okay. Um, I can't wait to see where it goes, and I'm probably gonna get that comic book next. I forget the name of it, but. Oh, um, so for me, I've, I've followed the canon as much as I Hello can. there, watching from my stream. <laughs> kind of picked and choose, so the Veda comic by Charles Saul is really amazing. Because uh, you have Veda doubting these. You have Veda, it's almost immediately after when they say, you have Veda doubting. I saw him, so and I'm checking the live auctions while this is. He has this maybe kind of. A little backwards? What if scenario in his head is. That is what I'm. That is what I'm saying. Um, let's turn them down a bit. And Did Charles Soul wrote write all of those? Um, of that Vader series. If you want to, if you want to sell anything, there we go. Yes, he did. He did. He did. Oh, okay. Um, and there's two. There's Vader down, and then Vader. But I'm not Vader. He's got to put, put the comment on, but he hasn't said anything yet. I think he's still he's talking. Um, so I'm not sure. If you've got anything, if you've anything to sell, I will sell it for you. In one of my auctions. But I just like That's what auction that houses do. And I will do it. With commission, obviously. Yeah. You set the price. I sell it that price. Uh, and I will take commission. That's why you see her in the shop. For some reason, when she says that, I was like, this moment, he's trying to find. He's doing his dick crazy. Empire Strikes Back Stormtrooper. Yeah, Mock. So, uh, no, um, I haven't, unfortunately. Uh, in the, funny enough, in the I did Snow Trooper. City, which was a palatine one. Um, oh, you do? Auctions oh, been good. Scene, yeah, um, been good. Uh, yeah, you in the in that video game. Been right, really good. Just impales that. Gee, pulled out a lightsaber. <laughs> Come on then. You it's all in start. caps. Um, but, no, it's not all in caps. Just um, and then also, so in the no. emphasis. Don't matter anyway. Oh, whatever wow. you put in, the security, the security footage. That all in caps, mate. Into the security footage. How's it going? The you see, I think in fighting Jedi, and <laughs> people talking in the chat. Garlic, and it's, he's a long grey hair Jedi, he's got a green lightsaber. That's played by Nick Gillard. So but that character was in so the yeah. Game, you have more of a I'll I'll um. Is really hard to hard. What I always do. Like dark Souls. Oh, well, so, try to so do. Dark Souls really to get there. If you're not subscribed. Um, he streams think, all night. He never sleeps. Do you think it's enough? I'll put it in the the. I'll like remove that anyway. Uh, you know it, that's kind of a. But there you go. Um, check him out. Good. He does uh, game streaming. I'm. That's something I need to say. Um. My game streaming is not going to be on the YouTube anymore. I want to keep it separate from Blue Harvest. It's going to be Blue Harvest Gaming. It's Blue Harvest Vintage over on Twitch. I'm going to be streaming my gaming on Twitch. The Palibuy still will still be on the Twitch. This is on Twitch as well as Facebook and YouTube. But I just want to separate the things because I don't know if it's, it's harming the channel doing live streaming gamers because I don't get that many people watching. I just like to do it. I just like to live stream. I'm going to carry on doing the Red Dead Redemption, but I'll do it over on Twitch. I don't know because really because it's episodical that I'm trying to do with that one. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. Temp in the pound. Uh, 10%. It's usually twenty percent, but we can discuss that. Depends what lots they are. Obviously, you'd have to. Either, I don't know because we'll see. We'll see about that because you usually bring them to me or post them to me. But we can maybe get you in the live stream and get a camera on the stuff. Get you in. The, maybe not you, or just get the stuff on the screen. And then, obviously, I'd do the auction. Do it like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll sort some out. Lay display looking good. Yeah. It's, uh, it's something else coming as well very soon. 
I can't wait to get something very vintage. The, the probably the last layer vintage thing I need. They'll go well with the hot toys. If you know what I mean? I need a box for it though. And I need I need a comb and a I need a shoes, a comb, and a brush. I think you know what it means. I think you know what it is now. I can't wait to get that. The hair's perfect on it. Face perfect. Oh. I can't bring myself to sell anything, I guess I'm a toe holder. Yeah, a lot of people are that I get I get a bit of stick that I sell stuff. Well that that is me. That's that's my job basically. I I get things through when I'm working in the auctions to value. So it's not mine, but I can I can appreciate it, I can touch it and I can I've seen it then. That's good enough for me most of the time. All the time most of the things I want to collect and I will I will keep are the things I used to have. That's why I want to do a series on. It's like when I did my scale electric. I mean, my palatoid desktop, I never had one as a kid. But I know I can appreciate it. And it's something that... If I did sell it, it'd be very hard to do. Very hard to do. Because I've wanted it for so long. And it was just... I couldn't pass it out. See you, Josh. Cheers for uh, jumping on. Stuff to sell toys. It is, yeah. First spoon we feel connected to them. <laughs> is it a cabbage patch doll or a princess layer 12 inch figure? One of them. It's one of them, Tez. Always wanted a Death Star. Still want one. I just need to finish it off, don't I, Tez? Um, heading out to do fire run. Are you playing Red Dead? <laughs> Sign to snow. Oh, we've had our snow, I think. We might get a bit more. All right, Ed. I'll catch you when you wake up later on, when you realise how much you've spent. <laughs> I'll try and get a... Uh, a package together and uh, get it valued and sorted and let you know. You don't know what I mean. You know what I mean. My birthday present. Yeah, stay warm. Stay, stay warm. Stay warm, mate. Get that firewood chopped. Yep. Thank you for joining me. Um, I don't. I, I don't want to stop. I love doing these. I just. I like. I like talking to you. It's either talking to you or talking to myself, which I do often. I get locked up if people know. <laughs> Talk to Leah. Uh, so me. Um, I've been offered two hundred and fifty pound for me pop up lightsaber R two. No, that will never be sold. So that means a lot more to me than. Just, just the figure. It means a lot more to me. I make mean, um, me signed Carrie Fisher Black Series is not going to ever be sold. That is the only thing I will not sell. The art, the pop up art, I, I won't sell. But if I got made a silly, silly offer, that's what I said for five hundred quid. So I know they won't, they won't pay five hundred quid for it. But as it is, some things, some things you can get again. Some things you can. Sell and buy again, but a signed. Um, a carry fisher signed figure to me is never going to happen again. That is the only one ever in existence. So, not going to get sold. I think I got offered eight hundred dollars for it once. Eight hundred dollars, and that was that was like five years ago, before she died. As well, five, something like that. Anyway. Um, oh, Nigel, 
Oh, Nigel, you should have bid, mate. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. Please subscribe. If you're not already. 800 is a lot, but I wouldn't, I couldn't sell either. You know, 500 is way over the top. It's 300. No, it isn't. No, no. Are you kidding? Do you not watch, do you not see Vectis last week? Um, it's 300 for the, for the lightsaber by itself. But, um, Keep it and enjoy it. Except that's that's it. It means it means too much for me to me to sell then to sell. Right, let's go to my uh, your chill purge. Eight eight hundred nineteen subscribers now. Not bad. Need to get to that thousand now. I think I've. I've I, when did I get 800? Was it Friday? And I've got like 20, 20 subscribers in two days. That's pretty good for me. So, yeah, it seems to like roll downhill, doesn't it, once you get a few more. <laughs> Graded ones. Graded ones, 500. Yeah. Even carded ones are good for that. Oh, thank you, Nigel. Love it. Yeah. Join us on the Polar Boys as well. Uh, Tuesday, we're having Mike Cass, I think. He said he, said he was coming on. Um, we've got Matt on 534. Got Shabby on 313. Tess is on 323 now. He's, he's overtaking Shabby. What's going on there? I think he's buying them. <laughs> oh, John's on 211 now. And Mike's on 15.2. I don't know. So I'm down to, I'm down to, it says 30 people watching. So I've halved my audience since the auction. So I better go. Got 26 subs in two days. The biggest jump I've ever Yeah. See, I seem to have got a few in the last couple of days. I think it might be, I don't know if it's because the usual mic, but who knows? Roland! <laughs> Roland! <laughs> I got three. I got one in three days. I was in three in one day. Got one in three days. Oh, Shabby. Come on, let's, let's, let's give Shabby some love, shall we? Everybody. You probably already sub to him, but we'll, there you go. We'll post, paste it. You shabby some of. It's not very good, but you know, just give him some. Just, just pretend. We do. We, we pretend. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, shabby. I, you know, I didn't mean it. There you go. I've got a sub to shove it. Make it too. <laughs> uh, bless him. So, uh, if you haven't spent up in the auction, you can make, you can buy me a coffee. Bung me a fiver. There's the Patreon. I've got two two new Patreons this weekend as well. Cracking. I've got two two Patreons. Uh, the tea public. Yeah. I won't bother with that. There's my Twitter and my Facebook there in the banner as well. Um, I, I want to get this community tab. That's what I want to get thousands for. For the super chat, obviously. But um, but the community tab. There's a discussion tab, but nobody uses that. Rums have been there. Mike's been in there. That's it. Nobody uses that. But there's all all the things in there as well. Uh, buy me coffee, tea public, Patreon. P 
Patreon, uh, there's four, four or five videos up there that are waiting to go onto YouTube. So if you want me stuff early, jump on my Patreon. It's only like a dollar a month, a pound a month, or whatever. Um, the two, the two patrons I've had in the last two days are both done three pound, three pound tiers. This is good. I love it. I've got 13, 13 Patreons now. Very happy. Very happy. Seen a complete normal clock and green saber go for 90 quid. What? I actually saw... I've, uh, um, I think it was... I don't know if it was a green saber. I don't know if there was a saber with it. But it had the snap cape. And it went for £23 on eBay yesterday. And I missed it. Cheers. Cheers. You had to show you snoring there too. Should go shovel or not? Is it snowing over there? Oh no! Man, she in uh, Minneapolis. It's always bloody snowing. <laughs> Got to sub your shabby. You definitely have. <laughs> New best pal. He's fallen out with me now, then. Tez is flying, isn't he? I've not had any more purchases since September. Oh. I think I'm, I think I'm doing... For 800, 800 subscribers, I've got 13, 13 Patriots. I think... Patriots? Patreons, I think I'm doing pretty well. I think I'm doing pretty well. Hey, I said Steve. Oh, buy me a coffee. Thank you, Nigel. Oh, that's very generous of you. Must be those mini rig videos. Or the action figure collectible videos, you mean? I know the mini rigs, I know. That's a, that's a new running gag, I think. Um, now you've now you're gonna give me that canopy. We need a new running gag, don't we? Um, I can't I can't talk about the running gag that we're on about today in this chat. <laughs> um, but it is as it is. When you reach these heights, people copy you, don't they? <laughs> what got me about that video is um, he licked that cap too and he stuck it to the toilet um, I'm just going to leave that there <laughs> suppose it's better than licking your windows isn't it <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Not PC enough. Yeah, to think where it's been. It's been in Tez's mouth. That's that's bad enough. Oh dear. So I've still got stuff left over. If anybody's interested. Marvel Legends, anybody? Marvel Legends? Marvel Legends live. Hey, Baldry. And then, here we see my, um, my, what they call it, video. Red Dead Redemption. My horse, my new horse is called Baldry. I named him after John. I had to enter. So, yeah, Mission Fleet, anybody? Anybody want a Mission Fleet? Mm, you know you want to. Can I speed a bike? Ooh, and a baby order. Two pound fifty. I 
I I actually went to my mum's to get these. They've been they've been in my mum's since I moved here. I've been in this flat two years yesterday, by the way. It's my anniversary. They've been in in a you know one tra tray box of things. And I thought people might like them. Obviously not. I think they're pretty cool. Nothing that something I'd have on display, but I mean, look at the, look at the chewy, and the hand. I should crack it open and get layer out, but I've got layer. Oop, yeah. I think I've got layer. Is it that layer I've got? I should put that on there, something to really. Let's have a look. Oh, God, I can't. Oh, I don't know where it's gone. Oh, I've got the toy box one. Maybe I shall put it on there. Number two in the toilet, yeah. Cap two in the toilet. Love your toys. Yeah, love them, don't lick them. Do anything for subs. He will. I say I'll do anything for subs. Lick the suckers first. No. No thanks. Tell us what you're proposing to do to Shabby. <laughs> Lick his cap too. I worked way too hard on collecting to to I know I know sell. You're not sell. Need to clean up Roman in shed. You know where I am. You've got me address. And it's my birthday soon. I'm sure you're sending one summer anyway. I know you. You're probably sending summer. That's what she said. Watch Tesla's channel. You don't want to know. You don't want to. He licks, he licks toys. Shall we tell him? Let's put. I'll put the link in the chat. I've done it for Shabby. Matt will turn up next. What about me? Matt don't need it. He's flying. T25, Tez. You just got two. Look at that. See, I just saved two, three, two, three. I think it's dead. Yeah. I think you've just got two. Shabby's on 315 now. You're all on fives. 535. Five. It's because Matt, Matt's gone up. He only got 500. Last week he got 500. He's got 535 now. Oh my God. What's going on? I've got 819. I need. Come on. I'm getting close. I'm going to get really giddy when I get close. You know that. Uh, yeah, they had, they had to use in conjunction with the video game because it's now defunct, that video game. But they're, they're cool figures anyway. They're just cool figures. They're on, they're on stands. So, yeah. I've got the Force Awakens set as well. Grandpa says. <laughs> it's gone from uncle to grandpa. You must check out my new place, set a mini rig review. And Devon Sunshine. Uh, then, unless anybody wants to pop on with me, I've, I, could, I could stop this and do another one. If anybody wants to pop on, we'll do a proper proper live stream thingy. If anybody wants to join, 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 join me. Fetch your cloth.
Wow, eight, eight from 600 now, Brandon. Yeah, so the shorts, the shorts do really well. You get subs all really quickly, um, but they just don't fit my... I'm doing a, a series this week on mini reviews, so just quickly, quick reviews, so look, look out for that. Oh, another southerner. He's not really from the south, you know. He just moved there. John, who told him about that numbering system? I didn't even get a shout out. Don't think to that. I don't know, I didn't watch it. <laughs> Cause I did. Yeah. Um I think yeah, give me a shower, don't you? I'm sure you did. Let's do a live stream in half an hour. Oh my god. Come on, Tez. Yeah, shall we? Shall we do it? Do an hour. I need to get some beer down there. Hey, come on, Brandon, if you want. Can I come on, Brandon? Do it. We can talk vintage toys. Yeah, I need to. I need to shut this down because it's the auction stream. So I, I need to shut this down. Start a new one. So we've got unlimited streaming now, and Tess needs, still needs to pay me. <laughs> Tess, right? Tess, you need to pay me thirty-two. Call it 35, mate. 35 quid, mate. And I'll pop in that nipple for you as well. In fact, let me put it in the box so I don't forget. So you can send me £35, please, Mr. Uncle Tez. Do it. I do, but I want to go get a toy. Get a toy and you can get on here as well, Baldry. We'll get you on. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. it says he's from uh, Wigan. I'm just guessing. Originally. Yeah, everybody sub to print to see what. Let's let's get let's get his. Uh... Oh, in fact, we'll. No, I'll do it now. Let's get uh, every, his. Uh, do, 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 do. Link in the chat. Oh, go away. Okay, just go away. Copy and paste. Uh. Uh, chat, yeah, yeah. There you go, Apprentice, Apprentice Dewok. Six away from... Let's get him to 600. We'll get him on 600 tonight. Because we're good like that. That cool. Power boy, Sunday night party. Get in. John will be playing Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know if he's, he's back yet. If not, he'll be playing Dungeons and Dra Dragons. Oh, another one there. Tess is a northerner. Told you. No, you're not from Plymouth. You're lying. Right then, I'm going to pop off. Pop off. And um, I'll set up a stream for what? Eight o'clock? Nine, eight o'clock. It's nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Late night, late night, pal boys. All right, thank you for watching. Thank you for bidding. Thank you for buying. And love you all.